Uh, the only way you get more comfort when you sleep is to get a ghost bed from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. 40% off the bundle package. Also, if you just want uh, 30% off everything in the entire store, just type in the promo code drinking bros at checkout. Uh, you can put sheets in there, the, the pillows, the cooling pillows are amazing, especially because it's a million degrees here in Texas. So is the cooling mattress, which you can also put in the cart and get 30% off if you just want just the mattress or just the adjustable base. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. I smell Whoa. a cop. Whoa. I smell a cop. Whoa. Who let that guy in here? I can go anywhere with I want. I can go anywhere I want with a bed. You sure no, can't, no, dude. No, not drinking. in Texas. You're drinking. Not in Texas. Your speech is slurred. You are drinking right you now, sir. My God, dude. are from the most communist state in the union. We have a bunch of drugs in here, too. So would we have to get rid of our employees? Like, what's going on? I just got to walk around with a blindfold on. It's fine. Okay. Wait, I'm out of wait, state, wait, but I'll wait. still call the feds. I've got feds. <laughs> <laughs> sure. What if they're blindfolded? He though? would. That's the thing. He would. But he's like an Easter egg hunt for Coke now. I know. Well, I, I, if you're I'll, desperate on a Friday night, that's kind of a Friday night. I'll say this. Somewhere in here uh, exists all of that. Not from myself, but from everybody else. I, don't look at that bag in the back, obviously. That's Giorgio's. Um, but yeah, Dan. What did you guys do? You guys brought a cop in here and didn't tell me? We didn't know. We uh, didn't know what a yeah, cop was Yeah, and I forgot. Here. Like, it, it guys, was listen, overthinking. I'm or one of the cool cops, all right? Well, I, no, I you're test not. it with a knife. I no. snort it to know that it's pure, just <laughs> you, like everybody else from the 80s. He would tattle on us. He would. He'll, he will call here, the feds. I wouldn't. Here. I would work with you. You would be my snitches. You would be able to do whatever you want. What's that dude from Boston that ran it? Oh, uh, Mark Wahlberg. No, 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 no. The white guy that was filled with crime. No, 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 not that. Mark Wahlberg will play him. So I want to make that clear. <laughs> no, what's his it's face? the white guy in Boston. I don't he was, remember. He was, he was played Bulger. by... Um, Whitey Bulger. Whitey Bulger. There you go. Yeah, you'll be my Whitey, and I'll be that FBI agent that cries every time whenever he goes onto the pulpit and talks about how fucked up he did his job. Let me be your Sammy the Bull Gravano. Let me, let's let's do that. Can I do I've that? I've heard a lot of bad things about Sammy. Like, not cool eh, bad things. Like, I just want to be a like, Courtney a Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to take it on the couch. Somewhere is that fine, <laughs> or is that what you're looking for? Like when you say three snitches, do we have to take I it on imagine, the couch somewhere? Like no, I just imagine. No, you just like, cut me in. Courtney Murphy is definitely someone that had a lot of sex on a couch. Is that the dead actress? Yes, uh, I think no, it's so, Brittany yeah. Murphy. Brittany, or, Murphy. Brittany Murphy. Oh, say Murphy. Who's Courtney Murphy? I don't. Oh, know, I dude. went to high school with Courtney Murphy. Oh, <laughs> that's what. Am I right? <laughs> no, Christ. I just confused the names. No, you know? I understand. Like. Not even close on that one, by the Brittany way. Brittany Murphy's Murphy. got yeah, yeah Brittany permanent Murphy coke eyes. I just had a, well, she had permanent coke eyes. She's dead now. Well, they stayed that way. Yeah, how she died was it an overdose? No, no. Oh. So I just watched the doc actually about uh, two weeks ago. Uh, strange story. It was like pneumonia, uh, and then she died like in the shower, and then the husband died less than a year later. But he was also sleeping in bed with the mom who lived with them what? and mom. with Brittany Murphy's mom. Oh yeah, dude. Brittany Murphy's mom. So they were Wait. double teaming that day. Her ah. husband was sleeping with her mom? Uh, to, add, to, to go even further with this, he, There's was, a he was the mom's age. So, like, oh. it, it's real weird. Simon Moonjack was the guy's wow. name. And, uh, Moonjack. yeah. Moonjack. Simon And so Moonjack. at the end of the documentary, they go in <laughs> and, no, oh, this gets super dark. Dude, Simon Moonjack just sounds like a really good I porn know. star name. I know. And, and he looks like one when you look at him, you're like, all right, great. Can the moon comes a out. Of, he uh, turns into a, a jack off werewolf. Simon Moonjack. A jack off werewolf. He looks like it. Like yeah. everything you're describing is exactly. Pull up Simon Moonjack there. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at that oh. happy couple. Ooh. Yep. Wow. Yep. Somebody had some daddy issues. You got to do a lot of shady things to have hair like that. Even the guy in the background's laughing of like, dude, what yeah, is going on? I don't on? know. He's about like, I just that. knew the, those two just did anal in the back with three other dudes. It was great. <laughs> but now they're out here taking photos for the, the sun. I don't know. So right after she dies, cheers on the France press. Welcome to France press. Welcome to France press. Um, Welcome. Uh, where's your French press? You, you brought me here. Yeah, dude. Whatever. You are, you're full of excuses. You're Just horrible. Like you always, now I'm you gonna, don't drink. Now I'm take your coke. You don't drink. But uh, towards the end of the doc, they go in to the end. Yeah. And he goes, hey, do you want to see our house? Because even though she's been dead for a year, I haven't moved anything. Oh, that's love. When you see the inside of the house, there's about 4,000 makeup kits all over the place. It looks yeah. like, I mean, a, a well, complete she, Where was this house? Hole. And first off, didn't she Hollywood die house? like fucking 10 years ago? Yeah. 
Uh, it was not Hollywood so Hills. So this documentary was filmed a year after she died, like nine years ago? No. So that, that footage came from another news outlet that mm-hmm. was like, hey, we're trying to get the, the first story. And this woman uh, who they end up interviewing, I think from Radar Online when that was big back in the day, mm-hmm. um, she goes, dude, I just got a call out of nowhere. And it was him. And I went over to the house and we got this footage and everything else. And then they kind of tied it together with other interviews now. What, but, who, uh, where's this doc? What's it called? HBO, I believe. Um, it was either, yeah, Damn. yeah, it was HBO. I or, got something or Apple. I want to watch now. Oh well, yeah, dude. Yeah, because yeah. that was your whole era. Like you loved all those girls. Yeah, it was all Hillary Duff, Brittany, Brittany Murphy, Murphy yeah. all of them. Brittany Murphy was kind of like you know the trailer version of of everybody of Disney. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, I might catch something from this one, but I'm still into it. Mm-hmm. One of the, I'm all in. One of the great cartoon voices of all time. Oh, yeah, dude. Brit- she was on Brit- everything. Murphy. Luann, King of the Hill. King of the Hill, bro. Really? Oh, yep. She yeah. was Luann? Yes. Yep. I had no clue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no clue. That's why they can't do a King of the Hill reboot. Mm-mm. Because she's dead. It just wouldn't work. Her, yeah. Yeah. her and her husband on King of the Hill. Dead. Dead. Tom, Tom Petty. R.I.P., dude. Tom Petty's dead, Wait, too. who's Tom? I could give a shit about Who Tom Petty. Who was married You're to Tom kidding. Petty? Never liked him. You're kidding. Trash. No, Tom Petty's dead, dude. The rock star. Yeah, yeah I know that. Yeah. It was a helicopter crash, wasn't it? Nope, sure wasn't. That was Kobe. Yeah. Sure wasn't, my friend. No, uh, there's another famous rocker that, that wrapped a helicopter around a, 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 a power line. Not recently. No, Tom Petty wasn't recent. <laughs> what was he? He was during COVID, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, really? Did he kick off during COVID? Um, 2020? He died in 2017. Oh, fuck. Was it Van Halen? Yeah, see, I told you it's been a while. It was no, Van, Van Halen, Halen was cancer. Tom Petty died of accidental overdose. Yeah, he did. Oh, well, you see who who, who got taken out by a helicopter He crash. had hip surgery, and he was still playing, so he was taking pills. Isn't there that website, famous uh, celebrity deaths during helicopter crashes.com? I think so. .org. 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 Yeah, it's a, it's a definite <laughs> I've been org donating to them, you know. It's, it's a very famous... 80s rock band. Stevie sure Ray Vaughan? Stevie Ray Vaughan, no. Davey Allison, the NASCAR driver? You're no. thinking of no, 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 uh, no. Leonard Skinner. That Leonard was, Skinner. That was a that plane, was a plane accident. Plane. Was a plane. Okay, yeah. plane. Yeah. Got it. It was, it was Leonard only one Skinner. helicopter. Helicopter. Who's our guest here today, Jared? Tell uh, everyone. Tell you know what? I, 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 I don't I, know his real I name. I almost that weird? don't even want to say his name because I, I don't like him. Say it. Say it. I don't like him. Use it. Let it come out of your mouth. Let no, it drip like I don't honey. Want, do it. I don't want to. Do yeah, it. you do. Yeah, you, one time. I yeah. don't. One time. Hey, look at me. Come on. Look at me. I'm not. You're my special guy. I'm not even hey, looking at you. I'm not going to do it. Give it to him. Sh- yeah. You do this every time, yeah. and give I tell you that it's there. not. Yeah. You don't. wait till the cameras are rolling, and say you start it. the shit. Don't say angry cops. What's his real name? Say his real name. Oh, his real name is Cunt. Okay. It's close. Okay. What is it? What is it? Tell him his Dick. Tell me what's his real name. Dick. Yeah. Last name? Dick. Okay. Dick Army. All right. Dick Army. Dick squared. Yeah. Yeah. Is it weird? I've known you for years. I don't know your real name. It's, it's Dick. Richard. Is it really Richard? Yeah, Hi. some people call me Dickie. Hi. I understand why you go by Anger Cops now. I wouldn't do that either. Hi. I got the most unique, fantastic name. Yeah. Dick? Hi. Hi. Dick High. Yeah. yeah. No way. Fuck yeah. yeah. You ever I've never knew off that. A dick? See, you didn't like the first name, and yeah. then I brought in the fucking caboose, and you were like, I'm sold. I'm going to jump on this train. Yes. You, you get a, a, a two, male two. gymnast to take a, sh- a shower, and you get on that dick, you get dick high. You really yeah. redeemed yourself yeah. on that one. So Listen. did your parents. Because I, I had to imagine early on, you were probably pissed off, and then once it kicked in, porn and everything else, you're, you're like, wait a minute. I'm no, dick I was always acceptance of it. it was, really? Yeah. Okay. You got the same old man's name. So yeah, he was right. like, you know what? This is going to, it's kind of like a boy named Sue, right? You get made fun of a little bit and then he kind of builds your character and then you end up fighting your dad in a bar and biting off his nose. But here we are. I've yeah. Seen and you got that I've story that. for the rest of your life. My yeah. dad got his nose bitten off by a Vietnamese whore. Did he really? Yeah. Where's she at today? I don't know. I think she owns a car dealership. <laughs> In Des Moines. I hope yeah, so. Des Moines, Iowa. Mm-hmm. Ask her if she No, can that get was me, uh, uh, Dirty Work, remember? I haven't seen the movie forever. I, it was, I miss Norm MacDonald. He, get, he well, gets his th- nose bitten off. That, that was a Vietnamese. weird... That was a Norm movie. It sure that was. That was a weird was a Norm movie, movie yep. where it ended with nothing. Nothing. And you were just like... End scene. Yeah. Doop. Yep. It was great. It was awesome. It was perfectly him. Uh, I actually saw that, that movie with my mom. Wow. Um, in, in a theater. You I, have an open family. Uh, you guys and, and, well, are Well, we didn't know. Like, we didn't know. It's Norm MacDonald from, from Saturday Night Live. Yeah. You're just like, yeah. oh. Dirty work. Because if you look at his face, and tell me if I'm wrong on this one, as far as comedians go, face-wise, it Downs. looks like, uh, no, oh. uh, like, like American Dad, like Saget. So him and Bob Saget, 
both looked unbelievably friendly. Yeah, mm-hmm. like you would like leave your dad. kids with them. Bob yeah. Saget had America's Funniest Home Videos, though. Sure did. Right. But but look Norm, at these kids in the tub. But Norm Macdonald <laughs> was on Saturday Night Live, yeah. and he was the Weekend Update guy. No big deal. Mm-hmm. And then you go and see their stand up, and you're like, holy shit! Oh my god, I, dude, yeah. that. F- the first time I saw Bob Saget doing Bob stand-up. Saget was raunchy. He My still God, was dude. up until, you know, I oh, saw yeah. him until the very end. like two years ago. Yeah. Like, can't believe he was just found dead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, fentanyl. I wonder if fentanyl. it was the Russians. I'm kidding. No. I wonder if it was the Russians. Who knows? I heard that, like, they wouldn't say anything about it. They, the, like, they hid the cause of death. It, it's super strange to me. And then they sued to get the pictures withheld. Um, now, look, have you ever covered a dead body? Covered a dead body. Yeah, I'm not dude. a reporter, man. Well, I, I just, you sort of are. I show up. Sometimes I'm there before they're dead. But you don't Covered touch it. up a you dead don't touch body. It. Yeah, oh, I've touched dude. a lot of people. Really? Yeah, that then ended up dying. Oh, that sounds bad. Ah. I got, <laughs> I got to touch a dead body. Yeah. What? So let's go to the that. first one. First dead body you saw. Where were you? How old were you? And did it fuck you up? Uh, Iraq, uh, uh, suicide car bomb, and pieces of them were on my truck. Okay. And so, what was the first thought that went through your mind? Holy shit, there's people meet on my truck. And yeah. we laughed about that. Yeah, that was and a funny. little disturbing, but we were, you know. It was pretty funny. Yeah. And the reason I ask is I'm always curious. Like, I'm sure certain people were freaked out. And I mean, it wasn't a full dead body. It was just pieces of them. Right. But you, was it any good pieces? Like a brain? Was it like a Kennedy sitch? I thought, I'm sure I saw intestine on the ground. And I remember the biggest patch that was left of them was the one on our hood, the birds ate. It was about this big and it had a bunch of hair on it. So I'm thinking like a leg or a butt cheek. Okay. And you laughed. Did the other people freak out? No, no, the guys in the truck, we were all laughing. We, just, oh. we got blown up, but we're alive and we're okay, besides the concussions. Yeah, so it's funny. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. that's awesome, right? Yeah. It's funny when, like, their teeth stick into the vehicle. Right, and you got to pull those out. You gotta no, you leave out. it. It's a, it's a bad How do you make your necklace yeah. then? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, what's an awful Don't one smell that now, you felt bad they, about? Yeah. A death? Yeah. I asked Dakota this one time because he was doing some wow. paramedic stuff. So I'll, it's, oh, I'll try to make this as short as possible. Oh, we don't care. It's a podcast. Go as long <laughs> as you want. So this one death was kind of recent. I felt a little bit bad about it because it was a really, it's kind of a fucked up scenario. <clears throat> this, uh, this woman goes to work. I'm starting it right at the beginning. So yeah, this, I, lo- this I love this. I like, I like really Same. immersing myself into the. I want to live, in, the, it. I wanna live right. in it. All right. So this, this woman is like middle age. Um, like 45, 50s. She goes to work and attractive. I don't want to say. I don't. I, I can say some things in the story. Okay. Otherwise, if I add too much detail, I'll get in trouble. Sure. You okay. know what I mean? I CYA. So this woman goes to work and it's a buffalo morning, uh, late spring or early December. You know, during the winter time, there's dusting of snow, and out by the trash on the side of the road, uh, like of her house, like in the little area she's there's like a mannequin land there and she like she's like oh that's that's weird and goes to work comes back mannequin's still there so she picks the mannequin up she brings it inside cleans it off you know she's like yeah cool you got a mannequin right yeah and um where the fuck is this going oh i love it i love it already so <laughs> i'm in <laughs> so then 911 call comes in <clears throat> and says that uh, a woman has uh discovered a dead body and they go there and they immediately request for a lieutenant, a boss, because they're like, this is weird. And this is what happened. The woman had taken the mannequin inside of the house, and the mannequin was a dead woman. Holy shit. So it was a very petite, I don't know, but it looked like this woman did heroin. You know, like, you know, when you see somebody that's like strung out, you know, yeah. and super lean. Yeah. And it looks like they did heroin. And also, like, if you do heroin and not out in a Buffalo winter, uh-huh. you're frozen. You're a popsicle. You're yeah. done. So she brought this woman in because she thought that she was a mannequin. This woman thought a dead woman was a mannequin. Holy shit. Takes it into the bathroom and cleans her off. And it's like, while cleaning a woman that's dead and frozen, she's like, hmm, I. I think this is a woman. I think this is a real person. This could be a real person. This yeah. isn't plastic. So she calls 911, and the detectives, the homicide detectives, get there, you know, after all this hullabaloo, and they're like asking her questions. And they're like, So you thought that she was a mannequin? Why would you bring a mannequin into your house? Just why? Why would you, why would you bring a mannequin in your house? Yeah, yeah. And she's like, Oh, I collect mannequins. And so the homicide detectives <laughs> start like looking around the house, and they're like, Where? 
where are your other mannequins? And she's like, oh, I figured I would start with this one. I started my collection with this one <laughs> right here. That's the first one. So wow. you're, there's number one. No, no wonder she wasn't so good at determining whether a mannequin was a dead woman or not. But then that's the second part of this is they're like, well, how did you? She's like, yeah, well, I started cleaning her off. And then I realized, you know, this could be a, a, a person. Yeah. Not a mannequin. And you're looking at this thing like, how oh, the fuck did you not know that right away? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she Carried goes, this into the house. Right, yeah. This woman was probably 120 pounds and frozen. So 120 pounds, like a stiff person-ish. How'd she get her in? But I'm fucking, I don't know, this bitch had strength, we'll say. And just picked her up, brought her in, started washing her off. And she goes, but I thought she might be a person after washing her off for a little while. And so I did the test. And then, then I called you. And the homicide detectives are like, the test? Yeah. What t- what test are you talking about? And she's like, oh, well, I flicked her pussy. Oh, boy. Because that's how you know. So I see photos of this dead woman who is just in a tub with her pants down, like way past her crotch. And what would flicking her pussy do to determine that there was a mannequin? See, that's that's a good point. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. And why would that be your first go to? I mean, because she's a little off. I mean, okay. like, look, there's up, no seams. Like, she legs just, are parts of a mannequin. Right. That, yes. That, that <clears throat> bolt in. Mm-hmm. Yes. You can look down and go, wow, no seams. Yeah. yeah. And when you flick them, there's a hollow noise because they're empty inside and not filled with organs. The, yeah. This woman took a photo of the mannequin, the dead woman outside of her house with like a, a little covering of snow, like an inch of snow on her. Uh-huh. And you're immediately like, that's a person. Why did you take a photo of the mannequin? Oh, I just want to save it for later. And then she came home from like doing a couple hours of work and shopping at the grocery store and brought it in. Yeah, she had a kid too. So like, holy a, shit! A, How old is the child? Eight or twelve. It was around that age. Like either, I think preteen. Okay. So, like, adult protective services got called because this woman doesn't know the difference between a dead body and a fucking mannequin. Yeah. And she's down there just, like, flicking pussies at dead people because that's what you do. And did the kid touch the body? I don't. I, the kid was in the house, so I'm, I'm assuming that the kid definitely saw a mom dragging in the dead body. Wow. And then child protective services gets called because, obviously, one, adult protective services, woman can't take care of herself or the child. Yeah. And the house was just abysmal, just a fucking den of crap. Wow, dude. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, what this? was the end result there? Do you take her away? Does she get locked up? No, she doesn't get locked up. She didn't kill anybody. The worst thing you could possibly do would be like the... Disturbing a crime scene? Yeah, desecration of a, of a corpse. But she didn't desecrate it. She cleaned it and then it kind of fondled it, but not really. Okay. <laughs> and really, like, if... When you go into the mental state of some people, it wouldn't be really hard. Like, you're not going to go after this woman criminally. She didn't do anything wrong. She called the police. She did something really fucked up and weird. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just very weird. Oh, yeah. man. This dude. is the type of people, like this woman right here, these are the type of people that uh, board an airplane and get into their bag before sitting in their seat. Sure, sure, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, this is the same. This is the same caliber of person. Well, I'm I'm glad you're here because I didn't know you were coming. Like I saw mm-hmm. a disturbing video this morning uh, that I wanted to share with you uh, because these people were charged with felonies and uh, Ooh, that's having, a general term. Having well, I don't know what the felony is, and you're going to tell me after watching this video. That's good. Uh, We've Bob, got a, What Bob state's expert. it from? Uh, Bob, go to TMZ and pull up uh, the preschool teachers. Um, I know exactly what you're talking about. I Five preschool teachers so, put on masks. I was so fucking angry watching this because I have kids this age. And I have, yeah. a, kid, I have a kid that I take to preschool every morning. Mm-hmm. I was so angry at this. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, but what can you do with this? And then they, they ended up getting charged for felonies. Yeah, child abuse. But, oh, it is. That's oh, what yeah. it is? Okay. So show this video to the people for the audio listeners. Um, uh, that This is not the video, Bob. Uh, go to TMZ. Yeah, that looks like Michael Jackson's walking and, through. And uh, uh, it's the they're dressed in scream mask. Um, nope, not comes c- comes to play. It's not this one. Uh, it's not that one at all. Uh, that was, it, it, I was on the front page of TMZ. Yeah, yeah, they've got the scream mask. Um, scroll Here down on that it. one. There you go. All right. So for the audio listeners, uh, preschool is happening. It's in progress, and I, the teachers appear to. Dress up as the scream character, the, the five of them. screaming ghosts, all yeah. five of them. The children are screaming and crying, and they don't stop, and then they end up like petting the kids' heads and shit. I, I can't hear any dialogue in this other than screaming, but Bob, you can play this right now. 
Uh, I would be fucking mortified if this happened to my kids. Like, Who's recording this? That's what I wanted to ask you it's about. Another one. Uh, Who's like, is, oh man, this is going to be great, and then that, sees it and goes, well, I should share this. And out of the people that are charged, can you get charged for filming this? You're a part of it. You are. Okay, great. I would and say it, by filming it, yeah, you're. It's kind of like if somebody robs the store and you uh -huh. drive the getaway car, but that person that robbed the store kills the guy because of the overall crime that you're committing, murder. you're charged with murder as well, even though you didn't pull the trigger. Shit, dude. I didn't right? know that. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. I mean, uh, could it be argued in court by a defense attorney that this person was just recording something and really didn't know what was going on or didn't think it would be that bad and then they get off? Yeah, yeah right. that could definitely happen. Easy peasy. Okay. But the women that are, you know, filmed doing this thing now, oh, they're fucked. You've got video proof. Yeah, let's uh, roll the clip, Bob. Let's show for the audience here. Um, Why are they doing this? I don't that's know. Not, that's definitely not the scream. No, that's a weirder, scarier. It's like a, it's like a stretched out version of the saw mask almost. Yeah, and they're just screaming. Yo, they're like three years old. I know, dude. I know. Like, what the fuck? This would haunt your dreams forever. You know what this is? This is Jimmy Kimmel. This is Jimmy Kimmel doing the I eat your Halloween candy shit. <laughs> and all these dumb people are like, oh, Jimmy Kimmel's going to show me scaring the shit out of children? This will be great. Maybe. I can't wait to go. They'll invite me on the show. And then they're, 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 they're touching the kid's head. Jesus then, Christ. Yes, dude. I don't know about a felony. It's definitely fucked up and misdemeanor. Uh, okay, so now what? Harassment, definitely. Then another one comes in. Potentially child abuse. I know the charges are in the article, and I guarantee you that it's a reach. Okay, so Bob, I'm uh, so confused. You, yeah, though, like you can cut it now. Re standing. Read the charges from that article. I guess I bet you they're a reach. I bet you they're overcharging on purpose to like send a message. But, uh, but, DAs will do that all the time. Okay, they'll be like, hey. This is the level down here is the level of the crime that's committed, even though it looks bad. Right. But right. This, this is just the level of what it is. But we're going to charge up here, mm -hmm. even though we know we won't be able to prove it. Well, it'll be a felony instead of a misdemeanor. Yep. It'll be a felony. You'll have to post bail. It'll be a bigger pain in your ass. And then they're going to eventually go to court, possibly, or drop it to a misdemeanor. Either way, their ability, their burden for proof for the misdemeanor is far less than a felony. And it'll be easier to get, but they're still going to create the butt pain of charging with a felony. So four gotcha. of the workers are fa facing three counts each of felony child abuse. And one woman, maybe the one filming, is facing misdemeanor charges for failure to report abuse. And there you assault. go. Okay. Just like... Uh, you nailed it. You nailed it. Yeah. Um, felony child abuse. Yeah. I mean, I think you could... You can convict... Well, you got a jury on that? Uh -oh. you, you got to read what like, it says, though. Like, is it, like, detrimental, like, to the child's upbringing? Yeah, that's going to be bad. But how long was it done? Like, it, like they go into... Lawyers suck, dude. And oh, I yeah, guess yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah. And fucking defense attorneys suck. They're the shadiest of people. Let me tell you something about the justice system <laughs> real quick. Uh, Jared and I have been in many, many lawsuits. So, I, yes. <laughs> we, <laughs> we get it. The only people that get rich are the lawyers yeah. in the end. And, like, usually when somebody sues you or, you know, you counter sue them, try to drain their bank account and mm -hmm. then say fuck off. And that's kind of it. There is no dream scenario where it's like, oh, my God, the... The woman got coffee all over her fucking parts from McDonald's and got $5 million. That doesn't happen in real life. There's also every fucking, no, not every, I shouldn't say every, only a Sith deals in absolute. I can give you some info but on that too. Just yeah. about every defense attorney doesn't go, you know what? What is the actual, what's justice here? All right, my guy definitely did this. But I'm going to try and win it because that's going to look really good for my case file. Yep. Ba -bum, bum, ba -bum, bum. <laughs> Rape is yeah. fun. Yeah. You're like, wow, you're doing a great job for the justice system, you over pompous fuck. Yeah. I hate. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, Words. dude, I could go really fucking hard. But uh, uh, as far as uh, this is concerned, I think the biggest uh, thing that th these guys will be facing in the school is the lawsuits. Like the, the felonies and all that shit, oh, it's yeah. not really going to matter. It's the money that these parents are going to go after. Is this will be a class action lawsuit. They all oh, go yeah. after something. Oh, yeah. Every parent will go mm -hmm. after that the school. The school will be shut like... down and everything else. I just can't understand why they did it. The Kimmel thing makes a lot of sense now. Uh, who, right, uh, I did. I'm very oh, smart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ignore him. No, he's dumb, dude. Very dumb. Jimmy um, Kimmel? No, 
Well, him too, but uh, but but you, obviously, like he said. That. Who, Jimmy Kimmel? He's saying all the smart things today. Oh. So yeah, we're gonna look to him. And then no, I'm gonna you. tell you about the McDonald's case. <laughs> why oh, she yeah, the, got the woman who? Why she got so? It was hundred. It was hundred and forty. Hospital, right? Hundred and forty. No, here's the key. Yeah. Kick her to this that nobody knows because everybody just hears that. Oh, she spilled hot coffee on her, and and and, and they and made it burnt. frivolous, but it's not. Uh, no. So what? I know this. What happened is she got. Very, very badly burned. Third degree. And when they went into discovery, they f they caught McDonald's purposely directed in their handbooks to overheat the coffee because it saves X amount of actual raw coffee if you jack the temperature way, way up. Oh. And that saves it across the board a got bunch of money. It. So there is a there is a statue inside our laws that when you catch a large corporation knowingly doing something like this, you financially hurt them with a large penalty. Gotcha. That's in that. So so this was all in a thing I was watching about how um, damages are defined, uh -huh. and a lot of people are like, well, "How did this lady come up with one hundred and forty million dollars as a figure?" as to what she gets because of this burn. No, it was because the government was inflicting pain on McDonald's because they knowingly overheated the coffee over OSHA standards, like to dangerous levels, yeah. because it saved them money. Mm -hmm. Holy so that, yeah. shit. So it's a very interesting fucking thing, that whole McDonald's case. Wow, well, I'm gonna be honest, he's the smart one now. <laughs> We're not done yet. Yeah, oh, the second dude. half of the story is better. So then McDonald's, <laughs> McDonald's then did a PSYOP campaign to make it seem as though people who sued for like small damages like this, like slip and fall or, you know, the, you trip on a bus stair and then you sue the bus company were mm -hmm. overly frivolous and made fun of these people to lose credibility for overall suits against larger companies. And that's why everybody like has that opinion of this dumb lady spilled some hot coffee on and yes. now she's suing. That's yeah, she's that's a piece dumb. of shit. Now that's McDonald's psyoping dumping money. everybody yeah. by like creating these not creating but putting out all these stories and adding to the media of how all these frivolous lawsuits and these money grubbing people were just suing these companies over meaningless things. Wow. Mm -hmm. And see? she didn't get a hundred million dollars. She only got enough to pay her medical bills, which was like a hundred thousand, hundred forty thousand. It wasn't much. I think it was 1.4. Look at the actual settlement. I think it was 1.4, but, was but obviously the, the lawyers. Yeah, it was low. For quite yeah. some time. Yeah, I think correct? it was like, in the hundreds. It was over 100 Because usually when you do a pro bono case for, for most of these lawyers, uh, they what walk away with 30%. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's After probably you, true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think the total was like 1.4 uh, that she got. Just type in the McDonald's lawsuit. For I got it. Coffee. I'm on the uh, – there's a whole Wikipedia page. Oh, wow. It's oh. in the hundreds, huh? They awarded Liebeck $200,000 wow. in comp uh, compensatory damages. Yep. Uh, that was reduced by 20% to one hundred and sixty grand. Uh, they awarded her wow. $2.7 million in punitive damages. Ah. So there you go. There we go. Mm. Mm. Get, get, so, we're, so you and I are both right, on me. I was and somebody's not. I know. The judge, well, the judge reduced punitive damages to $480,000. Oh. oh. Still closer to me. So she made a total of six hundred and forty grand. Whoa! Right in the middle. I think we're all right in the middle. In he the said one hundred and forty thousand, one hundred forty million. He said one hundred million. Yeah, is were they penalized? Penalized? Like like penisized? Oh, like Pen fined by penalized. the government? Yeah, yeah. It looks like uh, McDonald's first out. offer and only offer was eight hundred dollars. By the way, wow. <laughs> There's like a specific note yeah. of that right here. Why eight hundred? That'll buy our new pair of pants. Exactly. What the fuck, dude? That's crazy. We'll cover your car seat. I don't know if it says in here. But a one, new pair of pants. One thing I remember about this, I did a lot of research on it. Her vagina was actually like really oh yeah it severely was burned. It was well, third you degree burns. I, I watched it. Did you watch the document? I watched the doc. Uh, they showed the burns. It was gnarly, man. The the burns were legit. Where I was like, oh shit, this looks awful, dude. There's a doc about everything now. Uh, oh, YouTube. everything. You everything. could just, just I I I watched something accidentally was fascinating was uh, the creation of Goldeneye, the video game. Oh really? You know that they like, so they had never made a video game before, by the way. Oh my God. Was it Activision? Oh my God. That's it. That was the, that was the photo from the, from oh the doc. Oh, there you God. go. That's You're why welcome. you don't wipe back to front. Oh, oh, no, thank you. Was that, it was a woman, right? Yes. She's just covering up That's her pussy. That's an old there. lady. God damn. An yeah. elderly lady, from my understanding. Yes. Oh. Uh, but so we don't know never, that, guys. Don't. Yeah, we're not going to show that. They had no, never made a no. video game ever. Uh, for Goldeneye? Yeah, and okay. then they literally were the ones that 
pushed and pushed and pushed Nintendo to keep the four controller slots because they were going to delete. It, it came out to be too much of a cost, and they, they went backwards and were like, we're only doing two controller slots. And these these again, a game creator company that had never made a video game is like, no, you have to keep these four slots. This is going to be the greatest. GoldenEye still to this day is like the biggest video game in history. So the, mm -hmm. the last two video games I've ever played in my entire life. Were Tiger Woods Golf and GoldenEye. And the PlayStation <laughs> Tiger Woods Golf? Uh, yeah, yes. And and here's why. Okay, we could get okay. that photo away. I was, I was always, <laughs> yeah, we can get, yeah, can get that out of my face. Um, they like to leave it up for the rest of the show. I hate I, it. I hate it too. I can't I hate look at it. it. Put something else on. Um, put the guy's porno on. No, 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 no. no. It's no. zoomed in now. Were they here uh, for uh, ass digging? I don't like oh, it. Oh, boy. Um, but they, they were so addictive that I was like, oh, well, I'll never get anything done if I play video games. Like, I've got to stop doing this. Like, yeah. this is, it was fucking awesome. Uh, but they'd never done one before, huh? No. Because there was, was, there, was there was a guy, and a they major invented. league baseball player, who lost all of his money, $300 million, investing in this one video game. It was Kurt Schilling. Uh, I don't what know the video name game. Of the video was game. Three hundred million. It was million. his video game. It was. So he, they would do puff pieces on him uh, at near the end of his career when he was with Boston, bloody sock years, all that. Yep. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, Kurt Schilling. Like you think he's this tough guy, but he likes like World of Warcraft. He plays World of Warcraft all the time. Ooh, it's, it's so he's like a secret nerd. Uh huh. And uh, he wanted to like do his own thing, and since he had hundreds of millions of dollars, he did. He he tried, and he was very shitty at running that company, and he lost a lot of money, and it went bankrupt. Well, if a video game fails, because people don't understand how expensive it is, and then the people you need behind it, and the tech, and all that other shit, uh, if it hits, you are a billionaire. If it fails, you are going no, to no, lose everything. No, no, uh, I forgot, I stumbled on this series um, a while back ago, going down YouTube rabbit holes of... They uh, indie game they, creators. No, they oh. they unpack like failed Kickstarter campaigns. Like oh. it's super cool. Is like, it Coffeezilla? What? Nope. Never mind. Hold on a second. Jesus Christ! The, the look you gave me, like I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. It's a guy that does like really good shit on YouTubes, and he breaks down a bunch yeah, of the yeah, scams yeah, from Coffeezilla. Yeah, yeah Coffeezilla. Yeah, yeah, uh, he does a lot with like I thought you Bitcoin were yelling scams a product too. at me. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, a lot of this is a lot of scam too. Like where. These com you know, these these people like there was this one that I went down. It was a video game one. They raised like three, four million dollars, and uh -huh. then nothing. Like nothing oh, yeah. came of that. Uh, the other one, Vin Diesel. So, did Vin Diesel's game ever come out? Because he did a video game, and he spent I want to say sixty on that, sixty million. Um, I don't know if he was able to actually get that out into the world. How much does it cost to make a video game? Oh, You're oh, blowing my mind right now. It, it, it's so yeah. expensive. Just to get through the door, it's yep. like $100 million. Uh, Did he ever get his video game out? Because he was super passionate about it. Same thing. He had a, a fuck ton of people. That's why he has to keep doing Fast and Furious movies. Because he ran out of money. Really? And, uh, oh, yeah, dude. But he won't be in it anymore because The Rock owns it and The Rock hates him. No. Uh, why Vin does The Rock Vin hate Vin opposite. Diesel? So Vin Diesel owns the franchise. Uh, not The Rock. Uh, he wants The Rock to be in the final one. The Rock said, no, I'm not going to do what it. What is the deal with him and Vin? Like, Oh, this is dark. You don't know it? It's uh, I, don't know I, know it's, I know it's. I know The Rock hates him. Yeah. And Vin's like, really? oh, look at my big pepperoni nipples. Yeah. Yeah. Family. Uh, Family. 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 <laughs> I've never heard any of this. What was the, I need to be enlightened. What was the video game? I can't find it. I, it's only showing uh, all the video games he's, like, voiced. And he's oh, turning voice. Arc 2 into a movie. Oh, gross. Uh, uh, yeah, look it up. So he tried to do one. The see, Diesel. See Fast what, and curious. whatever happened to it. Exactly. Uh, so what happened with <laughs> Wait, those Wait, Arc, like the fucking dinosaur video game? Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. I played that. Yeah. The one with dinosaurs had, like, the machine guns on them and stuff? No. Yeah. Well, no. yeah, you could eventually get there. You could yeah. get there, but. Yeah, I mean, um, so I just with, built shit. With Vin Diesel, yeah. The Rock, and those guys, and Jason Statham, uh, they got into a pissing match, so Vin Diesel was like, look, he can't kick my ass. And The Rock was like, well, he can't kick my ass either. So their agents got into a war behind the scenes, and it eventually got down to each person had to land the same amount of punches, and it got down to like a specific number. So each person got to do like 13 apiece. And they what? fought each other in a scene? Correct. Okay. And, so, and it was in the, the last Fast and Furious, whatever that was. And so they had to choreograph this whole fucking thing. It shut down production, everything else. Uh, Vin Diesel com complained that The Rock was late and unprofessional uh, to set and everything else. And, uh, and then he also said, uh, and this is terrible, he said he had to teach him acting. He had to teach The Rock acting. Vin Diesel did. He sure did. How many, sure you did. know, poor, poor Rock just being shown up 
by a thespian uh, oh, like Vin Diesel. And he goes, look, it's I, I think he said Brando-esque, and it was just like The Rock had a fucking meltdown. So on the last press tour, I think well, it was Well, who was that, Brando-esque? Uh, no, but he goes, look, you know, I had to break it down to him and tell him how to act and everything else, right? He had to do the whole thing. Did he not see the Tooth Fairy? <laughs> <laughs> so once Vin Diesel did that, so finally, The Rock is doing the, uh, the, the pirate ship movie that just came out over the summer. What's that? Pirate ship movie. Disney. Yeah. It was a made a, a bunch of money. They they just greenlit a sequel. The, no, oh, jungle, not a pirate ship. It's the Jungle Cruise. Cruise. Jungle Cruise. That's jungle. It. Well, yeah, whatever I'm that like, little pirate. Well, yeah. whatever. Emily Blunt's in it. The new Mary Poppins. It was a wooden ship. Emily Blunt was old, also old in ship. fucking uh, uh, Live Die Repeat. Yeah, Blunt's yeah. bomb, dude. Blunt's she bomb. She was a fucking badass in that thing. So when this came Edge out, of tomorrow. Wait, yeah, exactly. Yes. And they're doing a sequel to that too. But um, so when that came out. They asked him on the press tour. They were like, hey, did you hear what Vin Diesel said? And he was with Emily Blunt, and they were together for the press all day, and he mm -hmm. laughed his fucking ass off, and he goes, oh, he said he, said he needed to teach me how to, to act and everything else? Great. Uh-huh. Cool. And they were like, you're going to do him another movie? And he goes, no, absolutely fucking not. And so for this last one that they're shooting, uh, Vin Diesel made this public thing that was like, come and do the Come movie. on, man. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. And uh, The Rock said, go fuck yourself. Yes. We're all good. I found Vin Diesel's video game, I believe. There we go. Oh, what is right. it? What it's, do we got? Sounds fucking dope, and I'm mad it didn't get made. Really? Yeah. Okay. It, it's called Barca BC. It's an MMORPG uh, set during Hannibal's invasion of Italy. Okay. So from the Hollywood aspect, he always wanted to play Hannibal and do this yeah. big Hannibal movie. Yep. So now this makes sense. So he just converted that into a video game, but it never came out. Never came out. You know why? Really? Why did it stop? He lost it's, all of his money. It's too expensive, it really? dude. It's too expensive. And if, unless yeah. you can get investors in yeah, this shit. Yeah, but also, too, like it's uh, that's one of those things that is hard to truly vet the right people to hire because you could get fucking bamboozled by anybody that's like oh dude yeah, I, i'll make your video game just give me a bunch of money yeah. and like yeah hey jared like, i'll make your video game yeah see this, that's exactly what i'm you thinking. should give him a bunch of money give him a bunch of money dude make your video game. i don't want a video game okay what do you I want really what do what's i want what, yeah what's your dream what do you have left what's on your fucking list i want a resort why a resort um because that was the end of uh white righteous gemstones um, th that was I the see that. yeah season finale of yeah. that. Oh, spoiler alert! Sorry, um, but that's what they wanted to do was build this resort. Why a resort? Because I want to live there, and when I want to like go tent bar or play music or mm -hmm. do anything and interact with people that are there because because it's mine. It sounds fun. Okay. And if I don't want to, I just stay in my house. You could buy Epstein's Island. I hear that's you for sure sale. Sure could. It is. Little St. James is for sale, my yeah, man. Yeah, but that's like... Doesn't that have so an airstrip as well? To. It does. Like, it's it's hard know. to get to. It's I not. Mean, I want, it's not. The it's president a, went a whole bunch of yes. times. Yeah, he went, he went 16 times. Billy uh, they've Boy? got an airstrip. they got everything there. they, they mm -hmm. got a full staff. Is it for sale? It's for sale right I now. I want something easier to get to. Why not? I feel like it'd be a lot of fun exploring and there's cameras everywhere, and they're still they're still set up for you. Yeah, great security. So whatever you want to do. It'd be pretty hard to rebrand that. You know what I mean? You it's like, fun for kids, kids. I heard. Show. It's fun for kids. Yeah, kids loved it. They never oh, left. God. Yeah, the, that, that, that's a nightmare <laughs> rebrand. You know what I mean? You're really trying to bring, you know, no, it's under new ownership. <laughs> You thought you liked Epstein's Island before. <laughs> You're going to love, love it, it now. now. Oh, and God. then there's shared like, space. It's like, it's, like, it's like after we sign the papers, they, they tell me that there's a clause that I can't change the name. <laughs> <laughs> so the, now I just own Epstein's Island. I'm like, fuck! And the portraits of Clinton have to stay and shit. You're just like, hey... Uh, I'm in the foyer. Just come in. Just walk just to the front door. The, the portraits, foyer. Please. Just don't look at the portraits. Don't look at the fucking portraits. Well, what about you? What's your dream? Like, uh, no offense, uh, but you look like the guy uh, in your home state who fucked that girl on camera to become a congressman. We both are army veterans. So you that sure are, and you're both you're, you're bald. bald. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell me more. You're tall. This guy's great. You're and tall. Neither one of you can get tall? women yeah. the traditional way. Yeah, you're a taller guy. I'm average size. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're a little bit. You're a little bit better than average. You're pumping me up. Nah, sure. I'm this sure guy. not. It's that Hollywood. Yeah. You're you're just trying to build me up. I'll make me feel all good and gooey. And not at all. Dude. I wouldn't. I wouldn't skirt you like that. You know why? What's I know. That? Can I tell? I'll, I'll be honest with you. Is you a straight shooter? No. Are you? Do you have a girlfriend? I'll tell you the answer. I do. Oh, you do. I do. I won't say. He had to pay. Oh, you're trying to get me laid? <laughs> no, 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 no. The, 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 somebody told me a crazy story about you, and I was like, oh, shit. He's got game like that. And they were like, yo, he's got fucking game, dude. 
Oh, you can tell the story. She knows all my past. She oh, give she a does. Shit. Oh, yeah, she's solid. So there was a, a, an attractive woman in the studio one time. I'm not going to say who it is, obviously. Uh, but anyways, I was like, yo, who is this with? And whatever, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, hey, do you know Angry Cows? And I was like, y yes. And they were like, hey, you. Fuck. And I was like, oh, shit. And I was like, he's got it like that? And it was Jack Mandeville who was there, who I was talking to. And Jack goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got it like that. And I was like, I know what you're talking no about. No shit. Hey. And I go, no shit. He's got I it like that. I was like, God damn, that's a big, that's a trophy. Yeah. And I was proud of you and I was going to say it, you know, but I didn't know. I you thought you say were it. I'm still not proud. Well, I won't say the person, but yeah. um, either way, I was like, she was very attractive. And I was like, no shit. Oh, I hit out of my league. Yes. All the, all time. the time. And then, and Jack was like, you don't understand, dude, his game in real life, like it just carries over to everybody, dude, and he's able to bone everybody. So that's what made me think of it: of like, Males, well, could females. you be the next guy yeah. who shoots a porn in Epstein's Island? Oh, or as a, but as we're, a cop, we, we're, so we're, we're, it's a working title. We, we're <laughs> so promote the police force. That's what I'm about to say. <laughs> so a long time ago, um, I'm going to say it had to be early '90s. It was definitely '90s. The way that the film, the grainy photo, was taken of this film. Um, Police officers make a lot of friends with dif different people, right? Yeah. You run into a bunch of people on the job and outside of the job. And as long as you're not some like, you know, robot cop that has to arrest everybody, you kind of get a really good view of the world and accept a lot more people than you would if you just, you know, lived in the suburbs and didn't do shit, right? Because sure. you see parts of everybody's life in way crazy lifestyles. One of these officers back in the day had a friend that was in the porn industry. And his friend was like, yo, dude, I'm shooting porn, blah, blah. I like, I love you. I want to support the department. And his buddy goes, you want to wear one of my uniform tops in your porno? And he's like, yeah. So there is a porno out there of, it's got to be in the 90s. Okay. Of a dude with like shorter cut hair, railing a blonde with fake tits with a Buffalo police uniform on, patch and everything. No way. That's, oh, cool. find it. I wish you guys would be able to find it. It's great. I it's, mean, uh, that could be you. That's I've always, but see, it's been I've done though. It's been to, done. You know, I've always wanted to just uh, contract a gay porn, but have them wear red and maroon berets, uh, okay. which are the other two berets in the Air Force that we, you know, kind of clash with. We're kind of buddies, but we're kind of like, eh. so but I you, thought that you, would be funny. Are, but are you paying two gay dudes to do yeah, it? Oh, yeah. Okay, that'd be yeah. awesome. So then it's just like, hey, oh, check it out. Look, it's PJs and controllers at it again. <laughs> Look, the, the views we were able to rack up for this guy, and this is what, a week? You were here, that was last week, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was only a week. How many views does that video have? It's, uh, what is it? Bingo Blaster. What's the name of it? Bingo? Uh, bucket List Bonanza. Bucket List Bonanza. Let's see how many views that has I in the last week. I think it's close to like 900K. And it's the, it's the Army Reserve Major. Right. So he's we watched still this in. on the show last he's Friday. still in. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's still in. Bro, you're breaking so many rules. Yeah, 901. Oh, he crossed 900. Great. If that's monetized, if I'm told, I don't know for certain, but I'm I'm told that the monetization for porn sites is like crazy high. Oh, really? really? And yeah. It, yes, and it's uh, he he does have a blue check mark. So oh shit, so it he's is verified. If it's got 900,000 views and there's um, ads on it, yep. I'm assuming he's probably made 20 grand off that video. So right Easy. there, if you, if you can see Easy. in that monitor, there's, from those there's, numbers. there's three ads Yeah, right there's there. ads. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, There was probably a pre-play a pre -play ad as well. I don't know if you skipped it. I don't uh, usually, yeah. Um, it depends on how long we've been on I there. But, uh, have you watched it yet? I, I, are no. you going to do a video on it? I am I plan on doing a video because, duh, it's a fucking right. officer that's boning. Yeah, I mean. Is that her will, on top? Yeah, yeah, it is. Good it for is. her. Yeah. Um, I mean, and, yeah, oh, but honestly. With the way that the DOD is just fucking cucked for uh, the administration. <laughs> just looking at the screen. <laughs> like, I don't think anything's going to happen to him because he's going to claim, like, uh, it's a profession. Show, Bob, show him the mish so he can see it. I, this, yeah. Again, this is for the research what? for his video. The mish? The mish. The missionary mish. position. Missionary. He just kind of seizes on top of her. Yeah, yeah, but, but that's is he what, doesn't. He doesn't have much of a crank for thrusting, does he? He does not. Um, but it, it's, is that it's one of those. Is that the thrusting? Is the crank? Well, it's the crank. He's not dude. really working with much. Crank, so not him. Crank, it's the crank, If you don't have crank, a crank, bro. It's always the crank. It's the crank. crank. is the meat. Yeah. Have you seen... 
I'll, I'll let this finish. And well, I've got a question. But just show him Mish real quick. Oh, well, God. so he starts I, there. Yeah, I had yeah, to watch welcome. this last No, 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 week. I understand that. But just show him the Mish real quick. Just uh, the background is so go. sad. Right. So go full oh, screen. Oh, no. For, she's for holding her God's own legs back correct. and he's just smothering her. Yes, yes. He's got oh, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. But, but go full screen for him because the camera four is blocking it. Can we go full screen for uh, Angry Cops? For, no, I for see Dick? enough. I see enough. There's, yeah, I, he's got it. It's he's a jackrabbit there. Yeah. It's not even a good jackrabbit. No. No. Look at him just like bury her He's face into nervous. her chest, and she's like trying to be sexy. Very He's just nervous. like, if I go fast, it's good. Yeah. Brother, you got a slow stroke at homie. Just no yeah. thrust. Yeah. Um, the rest of it is. He doesn't uh, have enough dick to fit in that way. No, over. There's not enough dick to fit in that way for a follow like exactly. him. Uh, exactly. I'm not making fun of small dick dudes or medium or average dick dudes. I'm just saying. You, you sure gotta aren't. know. You gotta know. Which angles are good for you to hit the spots you need to hit? So the reason I brought this up today is how far away is this guy's district from where you live? Uh, opposite side of the state. I'm oh, Buffalo. He's in like Manhattan or yeah, something. Yeah, he's like New York 13 or something. Oh, really? Like yep. I didn't know he was in Manhattan. It's like five hour drive. Tip of the I'm tip of the dog. Oh head. yeah, yeah. Because I've, I've I've done the drive. Um, I didn't know he was that far down. Who is it? It's Nadler. He's up against right. He's Jerry going up Nadler. against Jerry Nadler. Yeah. Um, I look. Hopefully this video helps. Um, we've been pumping it for the last week, pun intended. Pun, I was about uh, to say. <laughs> I, I, I want to show you something if you haven't discovered yet. Go ahead. What do you got? PDUSA. Uh, PDUSA on, on Instagram. I got one video that you got. Dude, this guy. Is he PD? Uh, P-E-T-E? P-E-T-E-Y. Okay. USA. PDUSA. He is a genius. I'll show you which one to pull up. The, it, it, it's, it's brilliant writing. Like, okay. Uh, so, yeah, scroll down. Keep going. How many followers does he have? Does he have a big account, this guy? Yeah, he's pretty big. Yeah, uh, that one on the left where the guy's hula hooping. That one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there audio? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is, this is so good. This is going to be the worst thing ever. Uh, no, no. It's Ross's it? style because this writing is so fucking great. All right, let's like, see it. Let's see it. I'll tell you. If it hey, is. use your hips. Who are you talking to? Do you not see that guy trying to hula hoop? This guy is great. Yeah, he's absolutely great. No. Damn it. No, I went to that ayahuasca ceremony last week to impress that girl from hot yoga. Yeah, I remember you thinking about it and thinking, that's not a good idea. Well, I did it. And ever since I did it, I've been seeing this guy following me around, aggressively trying to learn how to hula hoop. But he can't quite figure it out. A child could figure this out. Fuck. What the hell? <laughs> I know, I'm so frustrated to watch all the time. What's he wearing? He's got like a business casual vibe. What do you mean, like fucking jeans and this blazer and sneakers? Exactly, yeah, like he works at a bank, but it's like summer Friday or something. What? Yeah, and he fucking sucks at hula hooping. It's ruining my life. Yeah, this doesn't really align with other stories that I've heard about ayahuasca. Yeah, I'm starting to think this shit was something else altogether. Well, did you do it with like a legit shaman? No, I, I did it with a guy named Matthew behind the 7-Eleven. Who's Matthew? No, 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 Matthew Ma. With a, and Matthew with an M at the end. Matthew Ma? Why would you do anything with a guy named Matthew Ma? Yeah. He's a pretty trippy guy. Seems like he knew what he was doing. Did you research this at all? Press your belly into it. Stop being a baby. I did some light street research, yeah. Street research? Yeah, word of mouth type. It's not stuff. the type of thing you want to phone in, man. Well, I did. Now I gotta live with this weird motherfucker. What is this? <laughs> How is this helping? Scott. Yeah, this is definitely something I would write. Matthew oh, for sure. <laughs> Why would you do anything with a guy named fucking Matthew? PD USA just got a follow from me on Bro, Instagram. After you this. will go tonight. Yeah, you will get high and watch every one of his oh, videos 100%. because they were. He is every character. 100%. Like. <laughs> 100 percent that's my writing in a, in a bucket like, whoa fuck are you kidding me are you uh, fucking kidding me because i'll go down rabbit holes like that the, the other one was the tourette's girl on fucking tiktok dude the the hotty dark-haired brunette british woman with the huge tits i don't want to say that um oh i did why well he's got a girlfriend I'm oh married. no i got a job oh <laughs> <laughs> Old no job Ross over yeah, here. The Love last thing I say need. the word huge tits. Thankfully, this is my job. All right. So, <laughs> officer, hi. Christ. While I have you on the stand, were you on a Welcome podcast where you were commenting <laughs> on a Tourette's <laughs> woman's quote unquote huge tits? <laughs> Your right. Honor, I. I can't. She had huge tits. Right? Yeah, she had huge tits. <laughs> I'm now, not a liar. Before we get into this, I'll I'll go ahead and take it real dark here. Go on. I thought it was fake. So I yeah, but didn't some girl get busted to, for being a fake? I, I don't know. Is that yes. so? Is that yeah. true? Like There's she's like a facts. bunch of Tourette's influencers now that are 
not how is there a legit. bunch of Tourette's influence it, because how is once it, a it starts it just kind of well, you know yeah, why there one is person they want to start and the first thing they think is fuck it I mean Tourette's guy dot <laughs> com you remember that right <laughs> yeah oh was he Tourette's fake? dad was Tourette's he fake? dad with the no I don't think he was fake Okay, but, 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 but we never know. But how horrible of a person you have to be to fake Tourette's? Yeah, he always Forever. wore a neck brace, which really oh, it sold it. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, the yeah, dude with the yeah. lawnmower. Yeah, Hold but on. if you're gonna tell me he's fake, I'm gonna be pissed off. About I it. have no idea. I can't right. believe there's not a documentary on him. Johnny oh. Knoxville pretended to be mentally handicapped for a movie, and everybody sure thought did. that was okay. By the way, I auditioned for that. So there is a screen. Uh, test that exists of me being a retarded person out there in Hollywood. I swear to God. When the fuck did we get ice cream? I know, I know. Uh, it was. It, it, I I felt bad after doing it. No lie. Uh, <laughs> That's a lie. But it exists out there. So if if somebody leaks that eventually, you'll see a million actors who are pretending to be retarded. Dude, there and, used and, to be a website jack. like okay. I see so a lot of simple jack. It's back in like two thousand three, four, five, six. You had you know the pop. Like there were content websites where people yep. made flash cartoons. Yeah, yeah. Ill Will Press was one of them. They had a fucking a, a, a squirrel named Foamy that would just like curse and like freak yeah. out and shit like that. Lone Star, Home Star, Home Star Home Runner, Home yeah. Star Runner. <laughs> Love the cheat <laughs> is grounded. <laughs> <laughs> and then so so back then it was a, you would go to the website. There was one called Tards T A R D Z oh, no. dot no, com, no, and it no, was a no. cartoon about fucking these these. Oh boy. <laughs> were they real tards? No, no, they no, no, no. It was a cartoon. No, I understand yeah. that. But were, were the people doing the voices? Have, oh, real? yeah. Oh, uh, no, no. who knows? <laughs> I have no idea. Like, this is just like I'm saying. Like, this is the. This is. Oh, <laughs> what are you, you guys reading about it? Oh, tards.com. Yeah. So, uh, by the way, uh, after I get out of the audition, you talk to the casting director. And I was like, <laughs> and I go, was, was it too much? And she goes, never no, go no, full no. retard. No, no, no. But, but this is before that movie. This is before Tropic Thunder, right? Yeah. So uh, she goes, no, no, no. That was perfect. Like you were, you were right there, and I was like, "Awesome!" So not only did I do the audition along with hundreds of uh, of actors and everything else, the screen test, but then she told us that we weren't like it, you didn't go too retarded. It was really great. So when Tropic Thunder came out, it was me and a bunch of actors went to see that, and like we laughed our fucking asses up. Huh. Most of us auditioned for that movie, mm -hmm. and it was perfect because it was I am Sam, uh, Sean Penn. That's what set off uh, uh, that yeah. that whole Tropic Thunder. It was like never go full retard because that's what happened in I Am Sam. Do you know that uh, that Tom Cruise created that character? I Am Sam? No, in his character oh, in yes, Tropic yes, yes. Thunder. Yes, correct. He yeah. created it. So that's He did all the lines. Like you, Ben Stiller had a fucking mountain of a mess like trying to get that movie made. But by the way, uh, uh, to this day, he's trying to make a less Grossman movie, movie. Tom Cruise's. Yeah. To this day, it's his favorite character he's ever done. Yeah. And, uh, he loves it. Oh, it like, and it, and and he invented the dance, like, and he was making fun of fucking Weinstein. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, like, oh, the whole thing. Oh, is that what it was? Yes, yeah. yes. His oh, Weinstein. Is he, so, so yeah. his the whole scene of hey, who's the key grip? Go punch that motherfucker right in the eye. Like yep. that was a Weinstein thing. That no was like, oh yeah, all of it was was Weinstein <laughs> behind the scenes for sure. Is uh, Weinstein in jail? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, and he's on another trial right now. So. Another trial. Another trial. Oh, you haven't heard about this? No. no. Uh, so he's on another trial in L.A. right now. Uh, witnesses are are testifying. So there were four Jane Doe's, and then one of them said, "I'll release my name. I don't really care. You can release the name to the media." It's Gavin Newsom's wife. No. Yes. And so she's testifying now, and that's going on. It's going on this week, and then next week. She's oh a horrible judge of character in men. <laughs> you imagine that you go from Weinstein to Newsom. Ugh. Yeah, what? but now wow. now you've got the governor of, of the state that's trying you. Well, wife. sounds well, like Weinstein wasn't a choice. What do you mean? Well, yeah, that's oh, called. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, like oh. Newsom, sure. <laughs> Why just horrible luck with men. Decisions. Uh, you knew. Wasn't I, she? You knew. I, uh, what what I'll, movie I'll did she get know. after she after he diddled her? Yeah, so like, I, pull up her IMDb, and then we'll get to the Tourette's girl with a huge tits. Well, I want to know, what does it say over there about Tards.com? Oh, to, well, yeah, we'll start with Tards.com. Yeah, what did it say? What happened to it? Did they take well, it down? Well, Jared, if you have 2500 free dollars, and I think you do, uh, Tards.com is available. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it doesn't it say it since It should just oh. be a photo of your Owner beautiful of face. Black Rifle Coffee buys Tards.com. <laughs> it should revitalize It should stand for something else, though, like... Tuition assistance relying what, what depreciation has a studies. Z in it. Well, that's what Maine is for zoology. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Main. What, yeah, tell everybody the uh main.com. No, uh so on uh Facebook when Drinking Bros private group got deleted by Zuckerberg. We had like 130,000 members. Mm -hmm. uh, Jared renamed it to uh, Maine Multi... What is it? It, it is uh, Multicultural All-Inclusive Network. So they wouldn't ban it. So yeah, it, 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 and we have been hidden from their fucking AI algorithms. Correct. You should post every like week or so, like or month, like the intentional anti-right post, and be like <laughs> intentional anti-right post. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know, and have and then have everybody just you know shit on the right or anybody with conservative values or yeah. anti-Trump. Yeah, everybody. Come and that way you're like, like you've yeah. got like you've oh. built up credits. Yeah. Going so higher. they're like when oh, they wait when a they second. do when they do because dude, even to this day. Yep. I still get notifications that Drinking Bros, it's like we deleted 16 posts. Like they're still in, you know, they've taken the ability for anybody to go in it. Right. But that AI still is still in there yeah. searching through every post and like, oh, this is, this is. <laughs> this is it. You're still getting flagged. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still this getting flagged. This is a terrorist. This is a domestic terrorist. Uh, what do you got there, Bob? What was uh, Newsom's wife in? What What are some uh, of her hits? My guess is her run-in, potentially her run-in with uh, uh, Weinstein was for the uh, in the Valley of Elah, which was. Written and directed by Paul Haggis yep. in oh, 2007. Paul Haggis is on trial for rape right now. Uh -huh. What? Yes. Um, so is Danny Masterson. Uh, Danny Masterson. Why is that Who's familiar? Paul Haggis? That's so Paul Haggis show. is the director of Crash. Huge director. Ugh, oh, screenwriter, everything else. He's and won he's multiple Oscars. He's on a Oscars. trial for rape. For rape from like 20 years ago. Danny Masterson is on a trial for rape from 20 years ago right what now did, from that 70s show. Uh, oh, Red that's like the curly hair guy. dude. Yep. Uh, oh, that is what about the right Hispanic now? guy that was on that where, show? Wasn't he like dating 14-year-olds and yes. grooming them? So uh, Wilmer Valderrama, and uh, she was luckily, uh, well, luckily, I think, uh, 17, I think. Was... They never came out as like dating until they were 18 officially. Yes. Yeah. Always. But, but, but Demi Lovato did a song about the age Him. of her. Yeah. yeah. But, but it's the specific age she was. And I think it was called 2917. Yeah. Am I, am I right? Yeah. It was something like that. Yeah. So... That's there, uh, but the the Danny shit is wild because it's Scientology. So the judges, because this trial is going on now in He's LA. A Scientologist? Yes. Um, uh, oh, you said that like Danny is the guy from that '70s show. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Curly hair dude. And so, so he's a Scientologist. All the girls oh. who have who have pressed these rape charges from 20 years ago uh, are Scientologists as well. So they're having a hard time deciding what was religion, what was in the church, and everything else. So a lot of things keep getting struck from the record. The trial's going on right now, and it's it's weird, man. Oh, you want those transcripts? Oh, yeah, I, what? Oh, they're you pu they're, want they're those pumping them out right now, like the highlights every day, and you're just like not re Holy unredacted. Shit. I want unredacted. What are they doing in that place? So what they're doing is like, hey, if you say anything, you will get uh, excommunicated. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, oh shit, you know it. And that's what Haggis is arguing. Y correct. So Haggis is an ex Scientologist who talks a lot of shit on Scientology, and he's saying that this is a Scientology hit job on him. Yes. His rape trial. And so both of them are coinciding right now. They're both going on. Weinstein's is going on with uh, Newsom. And this and is then, the second one. What wait, wait, did Weinstein and, get? But here's the wildest shit. One. Spacey's just wrapped yesterday in, 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 for rape. And he got off. He was innocent. Oh, he got off. He got that's, off. That's how it all yeah, started. Again. Get off again. Yeah. Uh, first time from the... And then, yeah. So he was found innocent yesterday. And uh, From a jury? Yes, from a jury. Really? Yeah, New well, York. no, it was yeah, a civil, civil court. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. oh, he won civilly. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Forty million. So the guy was suing him for forty million dollars. That's significant. I know. I'm not gonna lie. If you can't win in a civil trial against somebody like grabbing your Johnson and saying mean words to you, yep. that means that you had a pretty weak case. Yeah. Yeah, but there's a lot of like accusers of Spacey that have wow. suddenly died. <laughs> well, th really? Oh, so there was three there was three cases that were about to go. They all died. Uh, in in weird ways. One was a car crash, one was a heart attack. And then everything else, and then I think there's one more trial left. But like, and so the, far so good for him. You mean Guy's that car was hit by no. another driver, and then that driver was never questioned or charged with anything? Yeah. Is he close with the Clintons? Don't know. But he is. one of the there we go. one of the people was in Italy. Uh, he just finished shooting a movie in Italy with the biggest director in Italy. Smart. You're so up. like yeah. you're not gonna trace anything back no, here. No, dude. I think you're fine. Uh, I think he's got one more to go, and uh, and then that's it. And then he's he's probably imagine clear. like just needing to have four people killed. The stress that that would be. Is it stressful if you can have four people killed that easily? Yeah. Well, I mean, I imagine like he's like even because even after you got three, like it always. Oh wow. Now he's still like, oh, I have one left. Yeah. Oh, I'd feel like that's a 
That's like there a, it is. Yeah, there's that's a like a weight off of his shoulder. He's like, oh, yeah. I've only got one left. Oh, what's just oh, one right. left? Yeah, yeah. I'm you in the, killed three. Yeah, last what's leg of the four? race. Yeah, you're last good. Last leg of the race. You're good. It's like the end of a ultra marathon. Um, now with the newsome chick, what what was she in besides that? That was kind of it for her. Um, let me find it again. She was in. Uh, she had a recurring role on uh, the show Life. Life. Never Where saw it. Is. Mm. She got the raw end of that deal. Never yeah. saw it. I think it was a prison show. Um, she was in an episode of Mad Men. <laughs> an All episode. Right. All right. Uh, let me see what life is. Yeah, who is... Uh, well, do we know anything about the case so far? Yeah. She yeah, got, she, she wasn't got, in the lot. I mean, she she got, oh, raped. she's going after Weinstein. She got raped, yeah. So she's one of the people testifying. They got raped by Weinstein. So. And Weinstein doesn't have a dick. Well, yeah. he, he has a dick, but they have to inject it with a needle for it to get hard. What? So how long has they had to so do he's got, and, and when, it, when they get injected, so his assistant was doing the injections, and then once it's hard, he's got two hours to fuck. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. His car needs gasoline to drive? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is so fucking weird. That's a horrible analogy. No, it's not. <laughs> like, it sure isn't. For years, your car doesn't need gas. It just goes. It just runs off of sunlight power and Elon Musk farts. Yes, and dude. Then, yeah. And then all of a sudden, then, Mr. Perfect's up on the mic over here. Exactly. Dude, like then, imagine putting gasoline in your Tesla tomorrow. You'd be pissed off. Did about you it. see that the the got to fuck? The, yeah, but your Tesla's like eighty years old, and your Tesla's been raping the shit out of people. Well, now he's eighty, but back in so all these cases are from like two thousand three. So you're going back in time. Oh, you're right. He's 55. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or he's been so down like, the rabbit Still, his dick could this, still uh, potentially work. Well, it did. But a fucking shot to the shit. dick? You can't just take a pill for that? No, it was it was a needle. And there was something like in the testimony that uh, every woman said the same thing, that his, his penis and his ball sack was severely distorted. And it almost looked like there was one ball inside the sack uh, and that the, the, the penis was really short and stumpy. And like there was an accident that happened to him. Like a burn or something like that. McDonald's coffee. Could have been. He could have been that girl. What if he was the girl? I think we just saw. Did we it. just? Did we did just, we just solve solve this? This? Went full circle. Oh my god! Wow, dude. Well, uh, and now no, we can go stop. to Tourette's girl. <laughs> stop. <laughs> and now we can. Now that we finished all of this. Oh, there it is. That's we can right. do Tourette's right in front of Jared's face. That's Harvey Weinstein's legs. Yeah, this is uh, uh, Harvey Weinstein's. That's scenes. what his legs look like. Yeah, I mean, Jared. that's probably why he was using a walker during the trial. Sure he got was. legs looking like that. Look at that, Jared. Jared, look up. Nope. Look up. There it is. Just look up. Look at the monitor. I'm just having a nap. It looks like a really bad rope burn. Um, let's segue to the Tourette's girl. Do you have her videos here? Because I thought this I was... I can't find it. Which one? The British chick you're talking about. The huge chick? I'm not saying she's British. I oh. think she was American. Okay, I'm telling you. i got this uh, she's cute, huge tits. cute girl from West Virginia, like you. Oh, nope, yes. That's, that's it. Not, that's it. That's Bailey, her. Bailey that's, Dupree. That's the I'm, one. That's I'm thinking one. of the other one. That's all right. Uh, play, I, play one of these videos here, okay? Um, and play aloud. You're done. I know her. Right, I don't know what the fuck that was. That was just a weird filter one. I just woke up from like a 30 minute nap with Fluffy. I have dogs. It'll be fun. But uh, my bed. Sweetheart, where's your fucking first sheet that goes over it? Where's the Tourette's? Find the Tourette's where she's so super. Personally, I order um, just the specific out? ones I get because they're the ones that work the best for me. And, um. Oof! Yep. Like you can get them at Is like a vape yeah. store or like um, order them like I do. Um, they're just kind of like fuck Hunter and his small little wiener, bitch. Um, it just depends which kind you want. Um, I have so. Sorry about that. I don't like spiders. They scare me. Um, this is little terrifying. Baby one. Yeah. Little baby I have wiener. a phobia. Um, yep. Hey, look up what the phobia of Tourette's is. It just depends. Is. You can order them. Uh, <laughs> Men with small wieners. Vape store. Um, That's their phobia, having no. a girl Tourette's yeah. in bed. So, like, all her videos are like this, and then they escalate in certain parts, and they don't escalate, and it's Yeah, like, I feel weird about her. Yeah. So do I. Because sometimes it feels like she's pushing out the Tourette's. Find another one. If she's, if it's her and another girl in it, it's going to be her and her friend, and awesome. those ones are usually crazy. Did Alex Jones ever prove that Tourette's is real? No. So sure didn't. We don't even know if we everybody's don't know. faking We anymore. don't know that everybody's faking. We have no idea, but uh, uh, one where she's talking into camera. 
got bigger than two. Oops. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, she, and flips, she flips off. everybody off all the time too. She yeah, that's another thing. Off. Uh, yeah, uh, not this video. Okay, um, just another like just a, a, like a talking shot. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A confessional one where she's talking into camera, and uh, yeah, that one right there. That's yeah, that'll do. Okay, so I've been through probably like 50 medical changes in like the past month with medicine, um, but we're gonna double fox. We're gonna talk about it. I've I'm getting Oof. sweating. Yeah. Oof. I don't know. Oof. So here's why Hunter. it makes me feel uncomfortable. Who's Hunter? It, it, uh, it doesn't make any sense. Uh -huh. Tourette's just doesn't make any sense. It's whatever it is. Her big thing is you're done. She'll be like, done. you're you're done. Scout. You're um, done. I am on an antipsychotic at the moment for um, my mood called Seroquel that I also use. For my sleep, go fuck yourself. See, like, and like some of these, they're like crazy. She does like 30 in a row. Yeah. And some of them, she's like talking normally. Yep. And I know that, like, in anything, like, even allergies, like, and you can have flare ups. I'm but, so sure. But. An OCD med. Raging. Um, called Luvox. So. Fuck you, Hunter. You're done. There it is. Yeah. You're done. Yep. So yes, that's the medicine I'm currently on. I'm not on meds for my ticks. The editing makes it worse. Ticks. Suck on that. Oh. Yeah, dude. So and you got like real weird and sweaty for this. Like you have a fear of I, people I, with Tourette's. I, I, I have a fear of that. Whatever that is. <laughs> Why? I, Why does that bother you? Have I, you ever been around it in real life? No. Ever. No. So I've been around two people. One was a kid on a baseball team because I, I coach uh, my kids sports and all that stuff. And, uh, and I got a heads up from the mom. And they were like, hey, dude, it just kind of kicks in whenever. Uh, and it's wild shit. Mm. And I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> but What age are you? Uh, well, I'm my age now. But my kids. Uh, oh, it was at your kids thing. Correct. So it was, it was so another, somebody else's child. Somebody else's child. How old was the child? Was coach. And uh, the child was seven at the time. Awesome. And so... Uh, we don't allow our kids to swear. I don't like. I don't even let them watch the show or anything else, and I don't swear. In you front don't of let them. them swear. You're a fucking no, dude. Because I, well, I don't want them to be on a, on a fucking stripper. Pool. Like I'm good, dude. Like <laughs> whatever, libtard. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Try to be. Well, no, the I'm trying to be a nice person. Household over there. I, I can say things without what being a like, hypocrite. Hey, go pick up my fucking nacho plate. Like I don't say that to them, right? <laughs> you just say pick up the nacho plate. Pick up the nacho plate, like a normal person. I yeah. want them to have a great life. They can learn what dirt bags Hide we the are later on the police life. Officer friends coming over yes. today, honey. Yes. Yeah. And so this mom came over and she was like, hey, and all the other parents, by the way, have the same rules, right? So I was like, all right, great. Mom came over and said, hey, the kid has Tourette's. And I was just like, all right, cool. Like, uh, I had, I went to school with somebody who had it, but they didn't swear like this. So I didn't know. You're what like, to so expect. do I call him a girl's name or? He's like, no, well, Tourette's. <laughs> close. So I go, how will. Yeah. I go, how will I know, right? And immediately, as soon as I said, how will I know, I hear this kid scream out at the end of the dugout, fuck, 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 fuck. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and my, you know, the, like most of the kids don't swear and everything else. And uh, so like people are coming up to a bat and like there was a story on TMZ that went viral last year of a, a parent like screaming at an umpire and it was here. It was right up the street. It was the same league and everything else. And then we get to the game, and then this kid screams out, you know, somebody strikes out or whatever. He goes, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. And I'm like, holy shit, dude. And I don't know what to do at this point. Hey, so, like, got to roll with it. You can ignore it. Definitely real. I know that it is okay, real so and you it exists. proven it. Correct. So, Alex Jones did not. No, he is not. No, and I don't but know. You proved it. Well, I didn't prove it. You did. This kid did. But you did. He viewed it. I viewed it. Yeah. I got to view it in real life. You're like life. the guy that's on Alien that, Spaceship. You're the only person here that has shown us proof. He hasn't really shown well, us proof. Well, hang on. So the, technically, dude, will you get on board with the goddamn justice system? But here's, I'm trying to give him some props. Here's, here's where I'm witness. going with this. Do you think this girl and all the other girls on TikTok are fake? Her? It... I don't think that she's fake because it's very randomized. And it's not like I I wouldn't take her as being creative enough to randomize that fake. So I think that's real. You think that's real? Yeah, because where are you landing with this one? 
I think it's real. I think the I think her editing makes it worse because she intentionally she'll like she'll talk in a out, conversation yeah. and then edit out the normalcy and leave in the Tourette's. And so it looks maybe worse. It looks worse than what I think it is. Because yeah. there was a couple of videos that we watched and we're like, there's no Tourette's in this going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was some where she's just like, here's Tourette's up your fucking ass. Oh, you're done. You know, and then. Right. But there are fakers out there. There was a broad that got busted. Oh, uh, She got caught. And what there was a TikToker. Oh, God. Why would you fake that? She is, she's a short hair female okay. that pretended to have Tourette's. And oh. didn't you say when she got caught, she said it was for awareness? No, I said that because oh. that's what dumbasses do whenever they get caught they, with their hand in the cookie jar. I yeah. did it for awareness. So for awareness. people would be aware. I did this so they would God be aware. Damn it. I you did imagine? it for awareness. Can you imagine if your kid did that? Oh, who's your kid? Uh, you know the one that faked Tourette's on TikTok? You know her parents saw that shit. Oh, yeah, had to. There's no way that her parents were just like, oh, that's Sarah. She's up in a room just cursing <laughs> up a fucking storm, and I have no idea what's going on. And they're, no, they're like, oh, Sarah, you're, what, are you, what is this? And her parents are so dumb because they let her get that stupid fucking haircut. I can see this broad's face already. How do you think? She's yeah. a turd. And they're like, you know what? Yeah, you are bringing awareness, honey. That's good. Uh, All right, let's go. Like, you know, make a vote for Gavin. Like I would Newsom. love to see a documentary of like, where are they now? of like the most canceled from the internet like that girl that uh was at the world war ii memorial flipping off the stay off the grass thing you remember that, that was oh, like three yeah, years yeah, ago yeah, 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 yeah. like like yeah. like she had to like like move like she got doxxed yeah. like everything it's like justin yeah. bieber signed and it, frank's it's, like sign in she i bet she would have been a believer she would have I mean, that's funny. she would have though that's, she really would i think i funny. think she would have done it oh 14 yeah and like, if that's the only music you're hearing up there through headphones, obviously. And to be honest, do you think Elvis would have done that? Music. He was literally over there for World War II. You think he went and signed Anne Frank's book and been like, she would have loved my hip thrusts. No, nah, oh. he didn't frank it up, dude. No, <laughs> she was still in the writing phase then. He didn't frank up. Yeah. He didn't frank up over there. <laughs> <laughs> frank up, man. He yeah. frank. I don't think he was strong enough to frank no, up. Wait, didn't you just find some then, woman dude. that thinks Anne Frank was created? By the uh, government? It, yeah, there was... Uh, or well, Helen Keller. Yeah, Helen Keller, yes. Yeah. So Helen Keller's a fraud, but we all know that. Um, yeah, no, did I'm anybody kidding. ever do real research? Well, so She had the, a point. Here's the deal. So they have a show called Softcore History that's on our network. They did a whole show about Helen Keller being a fraud. Fill in Jared of why Helen Keller is a fraud and how she created 9-11. Well, she didn't create 9-11, but sev the, several people died on 9-11 because of Helen Keller. Yes, yes. Interesting. Yeah. Because the Helen Keller Society was located in the Twin Towers. Oh. So people literally went to work to, and died because of Helen because Keller. Because of Helen Keller. Yeah. Helen Keller in there. Never that, existed. That girl that I saw Coming here talking was about that was, <laughs> was <laughs> hey, how... Uh, do you just interview unemployed people and they can do whatever they want and you can say that shit? Because... I still live in a world where people judge you. We're pointing out facts, and whether or yeah, not you fact. choose to accept, accept them is fine. I don't know. Some of these are facts. <laughs> well, Helen Keller also drove. Uh, they let she her flew fly a plane. a plane. Yeah. How? They make Make a Wish How? kids do anything and everything. She What's, flew a plane. So she's the first Make a Wish kid. She didn't take off. She didn't land. She just held the stick. She, yeah. It was yeah, just like was sitting just on there. the pilot's lap. Like yeah. Wee! Oh yeah. 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 But she was still you could, sticking. You could do that. She's the stick. She doesn't know she's not flying. They shook the plane around on the outside from the wings and she thought she was up there she also oh, met a bunch of like terrible people like the emperor of japan yep what she did oh yeah dude oh, yeah. yeah yeah everybody can meet terrible people what's that got to do with she was like homies is? with them so but wait they, they were like, pros. Was so they come on was, there's a was she like helen keller you like the first her with greta a thornburg was that was helen keller like the first greta thornburg we don't know and we're Much like worse. the jury is there out. real pictures of her oh yeah yeah there's oh her Fuck family's yeah. like, I that Helen know. Keller was just, she's a real bitch, you know? Well, yeah. she was also, Ever uh, since we taught her, water, Helen, water. She's just been talking up a storm, speaking all types of shit. She apparently wrote like 15 books, and uh, she was accused of plagiarism. Yes, yeah, she was accused of a lot of them. Yep. How? How did she plagiarize? She was brailing it up, apparently, on other books, and then was, was using some of those ideas. You might have to work for the Tecumseh PD down there in Alabama when she was born. I don't think I'm going to have a job anywhere after this <laughs> for any PD. <laughs> I'm just saying, look, this is Keller. We're having fun times here, but it's questionable her behavior. Oh, she was also saying. like a giant advocate for um, the Communist Party. In oh, so now what? she's oh, she's a piece of shit. Well, yeah. what was she? I didn't. So that one I didn't hear about. What how was she do doing you, for the Communist Party? How do she you, was just very pro-communism. Why? How? I don't know. How does she okay. even know what communism is? I don't uh, she know read what it. anything is. She read it, dude. Yeah, how were book, you, how are you fingers. able to teach Braille? How do you teach Braille if you're blind and deaf? How maybe do you teach she, a concept? Maybe she read Mein Kampf in 
uh, I don't Mein Kampf like, like, um, uh, you know, want to know the funniest part about Helen Keller? What? Uh, she was a believer in eugenics. Oh, see, I did hear that. Really? Yeah. What's eugenics? Eugenics is like you can build a perfect race of people. And unfortunately for people with more melanin in their skin, they were kind of left to the, well, hang to on. the rear. Not hang on. That. Not just that. It, hang it's on. It's like, uh, you know, if a baby, you know, like the Spartans, baby was born not so great. Yeah. You leave it on the side of the hill. You let throw it off take the care yeah. Same yeah. as like China. If it's, if, if it's Wait, a girl, she you was just, a believer yeah. of yeah, eugenics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. check it out because she wasn't born that way. It right. was like six months after she was So born. if you think about it, right, if, so, if, if you're going to grow up and you're blind and deaf your whole life, right, don't you wish that there was somebody that created a perfect race uh, of people and things that wasn't you? It's probably her, right? How did she become deaf, dumb, and blind? You said that she... Uh, night wolves. Is she, she, she was attacked by night wolves. Uh, she she had like, pneumo- like really bad pneumonia or some yeah. shit like when she was six months, and yep. she lost her sight and her hearing. Oh. Uh, look up Helen Keller versus Night Wolf. Show him the, the poster, at least, so he can understand. There was a I mean, movie a made good, about yeah, it. There, it was, oh, I heard. It was yeah, a good movie. It was a really good movie. It was a good movie. Um, the, but poster the, was story. Story. the poster was amazing, too. The poster. Oh, the poster's poster was out. killer. There you, you go. Know? I... Uh, and so she had to use knives. Yeah, we actually um, had Helen Keller right. on our speak. episode for Helen Keller. Sure did. They had yeah. Helen Keller on the show. So mm-hmm. softcore history. There she is. Yeah. yeah. Boom. So yeah. like it's uh, it's real. Everything we're talking about is real. Yeah. Why are there bats all around her? Hey, it's because she, at night. It's at night. Night wolves. Could she do the sonar like Daredevil? Night. No, wolves. no, no, no. She had to put her hand on a glass to hear people, but she could hear for vibrations through tables and things like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's a really cool concept. Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you. I know really the guy. bad that I didn't see it. Uh, don't worry. Well, about I've it. got a hard copy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the book? It's no, free. of the of the of it's the free? It's on Amazon Prime. No, uh, I Amazon think it's on YouTube. It. Yeah. Uh, yeah, YouTube's got it. It's Amazon Prime everybody. Yeah. I know what I'm doing over. on my flight home. Yeah. Jacking off. <laughs> you ever jacked off to Keller? What's the worst person you've jacked off to? Oh god, if only I could tell you. Can you not? No. Terry Shiva? Who's that? <laughs> what do I know? Jared's that name? a big Shibo fan, dude. Oh Terry man, He's you a nailed big that one. Shibo fan, dude. Shibo. dude. You know that's Terry. a good joke. That Pull good up joke. Terry Shibo. We gotta look. This is Shibo. Show bro. me Shibo. Show me Shibo for the win. This is oh, we're getting. I'm we're getting man. Really she was today. pretty on these France Press episodes. We get real fucking deep here. I mean, because we're. Really oh, I never deep. saw the pre. Oh, she's for... the girl that was a vegetable and. Nobody yeah. and the big thing was like the federal law Dude, to, it's to end so her life. Dumb. Oh, that was like, her before bombshell. Uh, I've never seen the before I've never picture seen that either. Holy shit! Smoke show, really fucking smoke show. Look now at that I don't 90s, late 80s, early Imagine 90s though, outfit. Like, so now you could Dude, say pre shot that morning yes, right there. Pre- that morning, she, still, she woke still up her. in that dress and looked in the mirror, had no clue that she would be nationally known for three, four decades. Damn it, man! With the most horrendous like. Crock a horse shit of a case. Awful. Like, this Awful. is so dumb. I was too yeah, young. So I don't really dumb. remember the whole case. I, I just don't remember either. that it was so dumb. All over. I know that South Park did a really good episode on it. My, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a young man too. So, like, I just, uh, I don't remember any of it. My parents told me about it. So, what about baby Jessica? Yeah, baby Jessica. The, yeah, the adult version. The, not um, the baby. I'm not asking if you jacked off the baby, but the adult <laughs> version of baby Jessica. I've never seen the adult version okay, of Jessica. Okay, so pull up uh, baby Jessica today. She fell down the well, right? Yeah, she yeah, fell down the well. Down the well. She was down there for 58 hours. When so he, she's grown up now, and she's like 35. When he orders a drink at a bar, he tells them specifically not to baby Jessica him, yep. saying he wants top shelf. I don't want the well. well. I don't want the well. I want a top shelf. Don't baby Jessica she's, me. She's all right. Oh, boy. Oh, what? she plucked her eyebrows too much. Well, it's a high forehead. 90s girls did that. It's a high forehead. I don't girls think those like are real the eyebrows. eyebrows. Those, that's, no. that's crayon. Think they're but, painted on? But yeah. is it because of the well accident? Like, did she lose them in no. the well? I don't know. Do you take too many shero- sheros, showers and lose your hair? No, it's not that. But when you're falling down a well, if you hit your eyebrows, do they fall off? <laughs> I need that visual Wasn't again really of you just well? bouncing yeah. off Wasn't the side of the well. Oh, no, 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 Wasn't it just a pipe? Uh, no, it was a full well. It was, it was a real a well. well. Yeah, because oh, uh, well. they have pictures. I, I'll never forget the cop pulling her. Oh yeah. The well, and I, then I remember that like, video oh. clip vividly. She was like five, yeah. uh, four no. or five. No, what? no, she was a baby. Was a, she was a real life baby. No, I think if she might have been. Like, Pull up baby Jessica in that well. She was age, a real baby. Age. No, her age was, was like, like fucking eight months. Mm. No, a real baby, dude. You're you're. Mm. How do you climb into a well at eight months and let's survive? Let's get the verdict on this it. Is the mystery. All right. There's the picture, Bob. So this is the infamous picture. Yeah, that's a baby. That's a, that's fucking, a toddler. Yeah. That's a no, toddler. That's a, baby. That's a three-year-old. It say her Look age. at the length. I, Let's who pumped that out of their snatch eight months ago? Uh-uh. 
I had a I have a toddler right like a literal one year old right now. It's about that's so that's a one year old. Oh, yeah. Well, yes, look at Bob, it. We should you. have the thank age. You. The age should be on Wikipedia. Let's get in an exact age. On oh, baby Jessica. I'm in saying the well. two and a half. See how old she is in the well. Old. Yeah. Two oh, and a half in the well. She's 36. Okay. So and she fell in the well in 1987. Uh, so she's two. She, she was two. She was 18 months. 18 months. I Let's said, didn't go. I say year That's and a half? That's one. No, you didn't say year and a half. You said eight years old, dude. I didn't like, say eight. Watch your tone. You're five. lying now. Yeah. You said five years old. No, I said, you I said, said three, baby. And then I said year and a half. That's a baby. That's a dude. year and a half. That's a baby. Yeah. A year and a half. Well, That's you know what? You're still a using toddler. months. You're still using months. That's 18 months. <laughs> can you walk at 18 months? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you can walk, but uh, you're not doing it. You're not now, saying if you a lot could, of if shit. If you can walk, that's the line between baby and toddler is yeah. the ability to walk. So yeah, she was a toddler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah, was so a toddler. she walked out back, was thirsty, obviously. Duh. Um, and hey, there's a well. There's just a well. finished you know, reading Jack and Jill. She yep. probably just read or had a story read to her about Jack Helen and Keller and was sure like, did. water. Water, yeah. I need water. And then. Boom. And it was like, oh my God, where's baby Jessica? I mean, they're lucky they found And nobody like looked in the fucking well in their backyard they for did two but days. She, was, she was down too far no 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 so they called the police immediately but it was trying to get a bucket down there because they couldn't fit a human body to go down there to get her it was so, so small to, uh, yes yeah. so how did they retrieve her did they dig up next to it i think it was uh was it the jaws of life i'm joking um uh, it was no, something, it was something i think they yeah. dug an adjacent tunnel or yeah. something and oh, then they, they went sideways why yeah. hasn't there been a movie made about this about uh b jess um yeah. i don't that's why don't what? we make it? Why don't we get ja Jessica Chastain? Just be BJ, but, but but BJ, BJ, it's Jessica the Chastain. Why don't we have her? Back and, why don't we do the movie? Why don't we invite her on the show? Uh, Jessica Chastain? No, baby. Oh, BJ. baby. Oh, yeah. BJ, dude, I'm yeah. down. She's in Texas. She's here. BJ's in Texas. Yes, yeah. that, this whole thing happened in Texas, dude. We should have her out. Just be like, do you remember the well? Yeah. You know what? If we're gonna talk about famous people from the news that you need to have on here, yeah, I want UFO kid, the hot weather balloon kid. I'll try the, him. The balloon scam boy. where it was the parents said that he was up on yeah. the on the weather balloon and floating away, but he was yeah. like hiding in the closet. Balloon boy, yeah. yeah. Balloon boy. Oh, yeah. man, I forgot yeah. about that. You got to have that family. You know, we got a call from uh, two days ago was uh, the rapping grandma oh. uh, from the Salt Lake City. She wants to come? She wants to go. She was like, I can only do 15 minutes. And I was like, I don't give why? a shit. Yeah. Why? Uh, why can you only do 15? Because she's 80 years old. Yeah. And How are you going to take office in the Senate then? What do you mean? She can do 15 minutes. She's busy, dude. She's yeah. famous now, bro. Dropping end bombs. Whoa. Did she drop an end bomb? Well, she's rapping, isn't she? No, she didn't say that one in that. And it's a very clean video. Yeah, it's, there. it's like a Christian. Rap. Yeah, this is Linda Paulson we're talking about, all right? Not Don't some. Soil did her she? Name. Is it her son, Robert Paulson? Keep of the His streets. name is Robert Paulson. Remember her name. Say her fucking name, Linda, Linda Paulson. Paulson. Yeah. Why? So, so we remember it. We were, she's got a midterm coming up, dude. She's running in 17 days. And she's rapping? Oh, yeah. You did, have you not seen the video? I have no idea what you're hey, talking about. Hey, is Carrie Lake going to win Arizona? Yes. Oh, my God. I hope. By 10 points. She's going to. It's not even close. Fucking. She seems like a. Throw the gavel. Like down. a fun DeSantis. She's you know, she like is. A, Dude, she like doesn't give a fuck. Dude. Do you know her background? No. She, she was, was a, a reporter. Yes. Here's why she's going to win. She was a fucking news reporter in Phoenix. Okay. For 20 years. She's been on camera every single day for That's 20 true. years. And, like, oh. dude, she's our next Reagan. Where it's just like, great. Oh, you want an actor? Let's fucking go. Cameras are on. Like, she's devastating anybody. She's going to win by 10, 12 points. Either That's way. amazing. And then Because the, she has going scorched her. Oh, wait. Flip but not only that, house. but they're saying, hey, dude, if if they pair DeSantis with her, they're like, Oof. you will never fucking lose, dude. Yeah. You will win for eight years. Yep. That'll be 16 because so we'll she'll be a vice president running yeah. for president. And, yeah. and, run, and then run. And oh, my God. I would love that. she's not a white all the way. So, like, dude, even better, right? Off white? The other box or Hispanic box? Um, That's a great question. Is Kari Lake half black, half white? Or is she, is she a, a Mexican? Which one is she? I, I couldn't tell. She kind of looks like Vanessa Williams. Yeah, Bro. let's see. What, um, the fucking tennis player? No, Vanessa Williams. The actress. The, uh, yeah, the actress, yeah. I yeah. used to have a huge crush. I Everybody did. I thought, I thought Smoke show. Vanessa Williams was a tennis player that's a twin. Venus. No, no, it was Venus and Serena Williams. Uh, yeah. Just so I know that who I'm talking about, Vanessa Williams was in Booty Call. Correct. And she was... Married to Rick with, Fox. Um, yeah, well, the, in the, but in Booty Call, she was getting hit on and fucking Jamie Foxx, right? Yes. Sexy. You know what sexy. movie was very, very, very bad? <laughs> Which one? Um, Miami Vice with Jamie Foxx. Oh, the yeah. It was terrible. It was like filmed on a GoPro. It was terrible. Oh, like, was terrible. The editing was awful. Yeah. There was a movie, Miami Vice? Oh, yeah. yeah with Jamie Foxx. Yeah. And, and uh, it was really, really bad. You get to see Colin Farrell's dick in it. 
If oh, you yeah, want to see it, right. yeah, if you want to see his dumb. Colin Farrell's in it. It was just you dude, seem sad by that. It was. It was. I'm not a big fan of like Dicks in movies. Oh, oh he it's loves never it. impressive. He wants to do front frontal male I, nudity. I, I, if, if, it, if it doesn't, forgetting start with Sarah Marshall male, for like, I'm it. always just like, oh, oh, I love good it. for you. I love oh. it. Oh, I love it. I love it all. I I can't see enough Dicks in movies, and it makes me laugh forever. <laughs> I saw Brokeback <laughs> opening night in L.A. by myself. That is a true story. There's no Dicks in Brokeback either. I didn't know, but I went and I laughed. But there so is a hard. rough in the entire tent theater scene. in Los Angeles. It was that um, you Cine- were laughing, Cinerama Dome. Mm-hmm. I'm high as shit. I'm laughing the entire <laughs> movie, and like, I, I, by the way, I love the movie. I think it's fucking hilarious. Actually, like maybe a month ago, I didn't know it was ago, a comedy. <laughs> it, it wasn't. Um, but we broke down the sex scene where where Heath Ledger spits in his hand and fucks Joan Hall in the ass. Mm-hmm. We broke that down on the show. Like, it, um, I love it. It makes me laugh so hard. Um, it's just no I'm a big joy. fan of A Knight's Tale. Oh really? With with Ledger? Yeah, that's a good movie. It is. Changing your stars, did you, Jared? Yeah. What? Changing your stars. Who's that? It's from Knight's Tale. A man can change his stars. No, no, no. But who's what the who's fuck this is on this? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, this, uh, this is oh. Colin Farrell's sex tape. Uh, oh, he has a sex tape. Good for him. I didn't. I've never known he has a sex tape. When? No, uh, came out obviously right after Daredevil. Oh yeah, Daredevil because oh, he's yeah. bald. That's right. He was fucking that black girl. Good yeah, I remember this. Yeah, no, yeah, that's his jam, dude. Interesting. Yeah. And he let her videotape this, huh? Good for him. He didn't give a fuck in 2005. No, he sure didn't. Uh, the, first, the only time I met him, by the way, he answered the door buck naked, and I laughed my ass off. I was like, <laughs> we were instant friends, and I hugged him. So his dick was against my fucking legs, dude, and it was awesome. It was really, really funny. I'm not that Austin, comfortable. It was in Austin, Texas. I've had too many experiences with naked, naked dudes. Really? Yeah, you pre- you, yeah it's different. all tackling yeah. and like tackling. crack and just not a good time. I had a woman who was completely naked. And was uh, screaming like "fuck me, Obama, fuck me, JFK, I'm Michelle Obama," and was and started humping my patrol car after she took a brick to six cars and the entire first floor of a home, all their windows. No way! Wow. Yeah, she was high as a kite. That's awesome. And she humped the shit out of our car. Was it like this though? Because you can see it. He's got a fucking hog on him. I, yeah, your boy's got a crank. Good this. for him. Yeah, It's the crank. Well, I've never huh? seen it hard. So let me, let me preface that. Like, I saw it soft and it was great, but he was right out of the shower as we were picking him up to go to fucking dinner, and uh, I've never seen it hard. Good for him. Look at that thing. What are they recording on, do you think? Well, this that was, was 2000, what, two, three, five. Oh, five? Five, yeah. That's what a handy got? cam. That's a handy cam. Yeah. Sony? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kodak okay. disposable. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, beautiful hog. There you go. That's nice, isn't it? It's a great way to end the show today. I feel it like. is. I feel it like. is. Uh, you good. are not having it today. I'm not having that. Yeah. Why not? We've seen a lot of dicks today. Dude, I just, just the whole just nudity thing, just, it's just, Male I've had so many bad experiences on the job, like I said. <laughs> I just see it. And like in a group setting, maybe when I was like 14 and your friends were like, dude, porn, you can download it on the internet. Did you know that? We were like, oh, cool. That's like the last time that I was like interested in watching porn with a bunch of dudes around me. Yeah. Are you regretting uh, your life decision coming on here today? Oh, yeah. I'm going to be fired. Yeah. You yeah. Gotta, hey, you got a slot here. You're great at podcasts. That's, <laughs> thank you. You might you'll make a lot more money than being. I a went cop. from cleaning up the streets to no need staring at celebrities. It's meets. Buffalo. It's <laughs> Buffalo. Like it's gonna get worse. You never been. You I, never I know. know. I've been. So what, here, in 1992. Here's the thing. So I, I enjoyed. By the way, I enjoyed Buffalo. Uh, I actually picked them on our sports show to win the Super Bowl this year, which oh, I'm wow. sure is not good for you. Wow, guys. what a stretch. Well, here's the thing. Where have you been for the past? Eh, Pat Mahomes. You, you, you still got to get He's, past Patrick Mahomes. We do. We beat him last week. I, I understand that, but not not you, postseason. You've never been postseason. They haven't been Ever. to. They haven't been to the fucking Thunderdome in Buffalo, Rob Wilson Stadium. Uh, oh, you got it. You got to get home field what's advantage. What's their What's their uh, record right now? Bills. Uh, yeah, they won last one. Five and one. Yeah, five and one. Wow. Yeah, and uh, wow. Chiefs, Chiefs are four and two now. Correct. So like, so they're doing the best. Yeah, Bills are well. No, no, no. Because the Eagles are undefeated well, right but, now. But it's two oh. different conferences, so you're good, you're good to go there. Um, but uh, they got to keep it up. If Mahomes has home field, it's going to be rough. It's going to be another rough one. It is. Um, I want to see the Bills win, so I picked them this year. We'll see what happens. I thought they should have traded for McCaffrey last night. No, they did not. They went to the 49ers. Trade cap. We no. we got too much money spent. You do not in the have next a running years. back. Is the only problem there on that team. Well, Singletary's all right, and we're we're throwing on the spread, he's baby. Mediocre. We're spreading it out. He's mediocre. he's mediocre, but he's getting the job done, and he's great with hands outside of the backfield. He is. 
We're, but, a, uh, we're wow. a West Coast Josh offense Allen. and an East Coast world. Josh Allen can't be running the ball that much. That's all I'm going to say. He throws Everybody's worried about it, but you know what gets everybody's dick hard? Him vaulting over chodes. Sure does. Just jumping over dudes like they're chumps. And so I hope you win. Um, I think your fan base, and I've said this for years, is the very best in football. Uh, Browns close second. Uh, one of you guys deserves to win a fucking Super Bowl, finally. I think mm. it would be amazing. Maybe the team without the rapist. For the city, exactly. <laughs> we got rid of ours. They kept theirs. Yeah. Wow. And you got ours was to. on the team for like a month. I know. And we were like, yeah, see ya. And then there's your most famous bill behind you, OJ. OJ. So, yeah, you got to live with that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sign helmet there as well. These were all pre-murder. I want you to know that. Right, so they're worth more? No, they're, they're worth less. Oh, uh, post-murder, they're yeah. even, yeah. that's where the money's at? Yeah. Do you know pre-Malone? Sure don't. You know Post, Post Malone. Malone. Yeah, nailed it. Um, he's in Dallas tonight. You should come up to Buffalo. I was playing. Go to a uh, game. I got I seasons. A, oh, he's at a, oh, he's in Austin tomorrow night. Uh, I sent you a video last night playing I, Post Malone. I know. Malone. Oh, shit. You hired a full mariachi band. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was I great. Did. Post Malone. Did, can, hey, Bob, can I text you that? And we can show it right now? <laughs> The things that you do with money are fucking amazing. To well, me. it was and Caleb's birthday, and we off. surprised him with a mariachi band. Oh, I get it. How much is a mariachi band, by the way? Uh, it's by the hour. I feel like five hundred dollars an hour is reasonable. No, we were, they stayed for three. They were there for three hours. Yeah, so fifteen hundred dollars. I feel like that's no, about right. They charge. They're seven. Seven hundred dollars total. Yeah. Total for three, for three hours? hours. Why wouldn't yeah. you? Well, yeah. I mean, that's great. Um, Bob, I'm going to text you this. And uh, it's coming through right now. Uh, we will play this. So you got a full mariachi band to play at your house, yeah. which is also a bar. There so is like, a bar in the house. There is a bar in the house. Yeah. So I watched the footage afterwards. So it looks like this was. So we went into the grand piano because I wanted to play Post right. Malone right. Mm -hmm. with a mariachi band. And then you had a full after party at the bar inside yeah. your house. Yeah. I could show you that. Real yeah. Quick. So I'm going to. Well, no, I saw that. So Bob's going to play. You playing Marriott with a mariachi band for Post Malone. Yeah. Uh, what was the name of the song? This is. Um, uh, we can play it on YouTube because you, you, it's, it's a full cover. Nobody will ever get. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. You're good. Was it um, Sublime? No. No. This is should have been Post Malone. Post Malone. Uh, I can't remember which one. Well, we'll, we'll play it yeah. to the audience. I'll know as soon as yeah, I hear. Yeah. You'll it. know. But, um, Mask off. Yeah. Shall we end with this? Uh, well, we got to get his drinking bro of the week real quick. So, yeah, we'll end with this. Uh, now's the point in the show we get to the drinking bro of the week. Oh. Somebody who's inspired you or helped you become the man you are today. Outstanding. Yeah. Who would you like to give the drinking bro of the week to? Oh, it's not like somebody that's a part of your podcast? No, it's you somebody that get, to, in your you get to call them out. In, in my life, life yeah. I get to make somebody a drinking bro? Your, your police yeah. department could be your... That won't be it. <laughs> who is it? Jesus, that's now I feel like obligated. I feel like they're stressing me. Who's my drinking bro of the weekend? Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. My, you know what? My buddy, my buddy Joe. He's, okay. He's a he's a cop in an adjoining town. I deployed with him twice. Ooh, buddy Joe. And we uh, we own a fire truck together. They, that we turn into two. a tailgating mobile for Bills games. Fuck you. Oh, you got to see this oh, you thing. See it. It's got a full bar in it. Well, hey, we're, so we're looking to go up and do. We do live shows from games all over the the, the country mm -hmm. every two weeks. We would love to come to a Bills game and do it from there. Do you guys go to every Bills game? Well, now we do. Now we have season tickets. Great. We, we bring veterans and first responders, and it was kind of his idea to start this baby, and I joined in, so he's my drinking bro of the week. That's awesome. Uh, you got to see the fire truck. Yeah, say his name again. Joe Maluski. Joe Maluski. Um, and so you guys go to every single game in tailgate? Now we do. Great. Now we do. We With try to make it every truck. game. If we can't, then we give... We, we always try to bring a veteran or a first responder with us, and if we can't make it, then we just give the tickets away. Sure. But we bring, we call it, it's called the MERV, the Morale Response Vehicle, <laughs> and we boost morale. That's awesome. So uh, we have a ticket company, DrinkingBrosTickets.com, and we give tickets away uh, to veterans and first responders all the time. If they have trouble going to a game or want to take their kids or whatever, mm -hmm. and, uh, and they hit us up and we give them free tickets. So same vibe. We oh, we just get them a, drunk. We We're all about getting them drunk. The same here. But we should do a live show together from Buffalo. Um, that's our favorite fucking team and they're doing well yeah because our, our thing with the show for sports uh and this is genuine is the teams have to be good because otherwise you're not going to be interested in like the arizona cardinals denver uh, yes like you're not going you're not going to that so now that the bills are actually living up to the hype of the preseason and everything else like we would love to come there and do that it'd be a blast bills patriots games from the tails get from the tailgate uh, yeah, are the Patriots good? No, but we hate Bill Belichick, and That's it's just true. so nice to give it back to him. And nice you guys and slow. throw dildos on the field. Bildos. Yes, every <laughs> game you guys throw. Not every game. It's uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's only against the Pats. Yes, it is. So every home game against the Pats, there's a bildo. Oh, 
Let's do it. We'll do a live show from there for sure. I would love to. I love Buffalo. Um, play the video of Jared uh, renting a mariachi band last night for Post Malone. Uh, we appreciate you joining us, kids. Uh, for Angry Cops, Jared Taylor. I'm Ross Patterson. We'll lead you out with Jared and a mariachi band playing Post Malone inside <laughs> of his house last night. Charlotte's tap dancing. Oh, is that the tap yeah. dancing I hear? Oh, okay. uh, uh. I'm no good at goodbyes. Yep. No. Goodbyes. Oh. No, goodbyes. That's not even song. Listen to that violin coming in. They're coming back, and we're going to record a real God thing. Damn. Poor compared to you. This, I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> yes. Why wouldn't you rent a mariachi band on a fucking Tuesday? <laughs> well, Rich came to town. Yeah, sure did. You guys had a hell of a party last night. And it was I just us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, who do you? But you don't need anybody else. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. No, it was great. So why was she tap dancing to this just to do it? She got back from tap while we were. Okay. Yeah. So she's <laughs> she's just like fuck it. She still had her shoes on. <laughs> I mean, she's she was tapping to the the mariachi music. In there. I'm no good at goodbyes. Yeah. He's here tomorrow night in Austin. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to a show? Uh -huh. Birthday Caleb's yeah, birthday. Caleb's birthday. Caleb, yeah, yeah, Caleb Francis. Happy birthday, Caleb. Happy birthday, Caleb. Caleb. Yeah. Francis. Right? Uh, you're wearing the same shirt from last night. You never I changed, have, you fucking I have dirt bag. Fucking four of these, and I loved it. He slept in it and showed up. He slept in it and showed up. You know sure it did. did. It smells like I've done feet. it. I've done it. I've done it. Look at that, dude. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, everybody. France Press Friday. Yeah. He's good night, everyone.